two, one. Hey, how's it going? Um, I know things might look a little bit weird right now, but I swear it will all make sense. All right. I know, really short, <laughs> short intro for the VOD channel. Hello, everybody. Long time no see. Uh, too long, actually. My bad, once again. I had the holiday, and uh, I wish I could show you all, but the entire wall in my office was actually knocked down. Well, not the entire wall. I lied. But a good portion of the wall was knocked down. So we were gone for a bit, but we're back. I actually haven't uploaded the first sort of practice run we did for this challenge on the VOD channel yet. Uh, I don't know why I haven't. I think I was having a bunch of problems with the thumbnail because usually the VOD channel is like thumbnail practice for the main channel. But hello, everybody. How are you? We've got uh, quite a bit of things to talk about today. Good to see everybody. Tito, how are you? Toenail gatherer. I'm not sure how you ended up with that build. This is your first stream ever. You came from the VOD channel. Welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Love catching a stream. What's on the agenda today? Uh, Bozo, we're going to give it a couple more minutes because I have an entire presentation to give you all. I'm really looking forward to it. I have got, I've got a presentation for you. Exclamation point, Iron Man. But I worked very hard on this. It's not a low effort PowerPoint presentation like all my others. Okay, I worked really hard on this one. And another thing, I just wanted to say that I am wearing my Joffrey sweater. I ordered a sweater that's just Joffrey's face, uh, and I think it's awesome. And I just wanted to show you all. <laughs> I just want, yeah, it's just, it's just the old guy Thank from Oblivion. Time, Thanks um, for the great three months due of less than three. Orzoil, thank you for hanging out the past three months. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, one other thing. Chewy, shh, come here. Where'd he go? Uh, I have a guest today. I'm actually dog sitting. So I need everybody in about two hours to just start. So I will, I'll give you guys an exact time. We'll say Thank you, uh, three thirty PM CST. I have to take him outside to go potty. Uh, cause I need to be a responsible dog sitter, but I'm going to, I'm going to go grab him real quick and introduce you all. Then I will explain the challenge. We'll do that. And then we'll actually start the challenge. My goal is to stream today and tomorrow and to stream quite a bit because I want to make a lot of good progress on this three thirty central standard time. So in about two hours and 20 seconds, 20 minutes. I know this is going to be a little scary. It's all right. We're okay. This is Chewy. Everybody say hi to Chew. Chew. I know, he's a little scared right now. We actually have a big storm on the way. Oh, that breath. Oh, dude. Dude, what did you eat? Anyway, I woke him up in the middle of his nap. Uh, he was watching Seinfeld, so I'm going to take him back now. But 3.30 Central Standard Time. I need everybody to spam the chat with dog, and it'll remind me that I got to take him out to go potty and give him a little bite to eat. Okay. All right. So, give me two seconds here, and I will explain exactly what we're doing today. 
Thank you, kind sir. Thank you very much. Savarios. Hi from Iowa. Right back at you from Iowa. Oh gosh, there's already people looking at my slideshow. Guys, you're spoiling it. Okay. So the challenge that we are doing is Skyrim Iron Man. Skyrim Iron Man. Where does Iron Man come? I didn't rehearse this. I, I, I'm lying. I rehearsed this a little bit, and I am a little bit nervous to give a presentation. Uh, reminds me like I'm being, like I'm at school again. You know, I'm in um, business communication and protocol, I believe was the class B cap. But anyway, Skyrim Iron Man. Where do I? Oh, shit. Did I click on the wrong thing? I did. I clicked on the wrong thing. What is Iron Man? What are the origins of Iron Man? Where does the term Iron Man come from? Well, I made a very brief, made a very brief uh, explanation video for you all. So let's watch and enjoy. So you can have a little bit of a background on it. It comes from RuneScape. RuneScape is a game where you hit rocks, chop trees, watch an increasing set of numbers get bigger, then you either turn those rocks and trees into an unhealthy collection of items, upgraded gear, or just turn everything into a fat stack of cash to aid you in hitting more rocks and trees. In Iron Man mode, more specifically Ultimate Iron Man mode because it's more related to today's challenge, you are severely limited in this gameplay loop by not being able to trade with other players or use a player bank for storage. You're on your own and left to either use the items you have immediate access to in your inventory or just leave items behind that you can't use. If I make any mistakes here, don't sue me. I'm not a hardcore RuneScape player, but I do follow a few creators who have absolutely inspired today's challenge. Settled and Jimmy. If you like RuneScape, these guys are just fantastic at what they do, and I highly recommend their channels. All right. So, how do I don't know. Okay, do, okay, this is how I go forward. All right, so those two channels, Settled and Jimmy, fantastic channels, by the way. They are awesome. Uh... But I didn't really know about the RuneScape community at all, on YouTube at least, until I did the first Whiterun video, and I had a bunch of people like, oh my gosh, it's like Swamp Lettix. So then I type in, you know, Swamp Lettix, and I find all these RuneScape creators, and it got me back into RuneScape, blah, blah, blah. So RuneScape, in its, in its most basic essence, is you start as this guy. This guy in green. You start as this fucking nerd, and your goal throughout the game is to acquire a shit ton of cash, among other things. Of course, that's just really simple, but it comes down to a lot more than that. As you play RuneScape more, you have you, this nerd loser, who's just a beta and is not Chad. You add in a lot of ore, a lot of logs, and a fuckload of time, and eventually, it equals still you, but slightly more drip, and possibly more sex. Can't confirm that. Cannot confirm that, but it's a rumor. Now, Skyrim shares a lot of qualities with RuneScape in this sort of grind. It's a little bit different, of course, and RuneScape as an MMO, it's a bit more drawn out. You spend a lot more time doing the things you do, repeated actions over and over to make your, power, uh, your character more powerful. And the equation is you, starting as this guy, also kind of a basic little nerd, but you have iron, you can chop wood, and you add in killing a lot of different enemies, and it equals an unkillable demon spawn. By the time you're at the end of Skyrim, you're unkillable. You're invincible. You're completely overpowered. Way too strong. It's ridiculous. Right? So, how do we marry these two and come up with Iron Man and Skyrim? First off, survival mode. So we have to cook. We have to sleep. We got to eat food to stay alive. Fairly simple. Uh, we're going with expert difficulty to start, but if you want to do this on your own, it should be expert difficulty or higher. So either uh, I believe it's expert, then master, then it's legendary. Um, because if you're on adept, I think these enemies will still kick your ass early on, but expert kind of raises the bar a little bit. So you've got trolls, saber cats, uh, bandit thugs. They're pretty tough at the start. Any of the like level two tier two enemies are going to rock your shit early on on expert. And I just like expert. I think it's the most fun way to play the game. Also, it's permadeath, of course. Why not permadeath or why permadeath? It's high stakes. 
it's fun. High stakes plus fun equals YouTube video. I know we're doing a lot of math learning here today. Now here's where we get into sort of the big rules of what kind of makes this Iron Man and is a little bit inspired by RuneScape Iron Man. No merchants. I'm, I'm blocking it, but gold. Gold, that's that word. Gold is useless, mostly. For the most part, gold is useless. Uh, so we can't buy and sell things from traders. We can't buy armor. We can't buy weapons. We can't buy soul gems. We can't buy leather. We can't buy ore. We can't buy enchanted jewelry to disenchant it, etc. This is another big one. No equipment loot. So if we kill a bandit, we can't take their stuff. If we kill... Uh, if we kill a, um, uh, why am I struggling to think of more enemies than just basic bandits? If we kill a bandit, if we kill a vampire, whoever we kill, we can't take any weapons or armor off of dead enemies that we take out because we have to craft all of our own equipment. Uh, like a real Nord. We have to craft everything by hand like a real Nord. That's just how it goes. There's a couple screenshots I totally forgot to include in this, but we can still loot things like potions. We can still loot things like if we find leather scraps or leather strips, if we find iron ore, if we find crafting materials, we can loot that from chests and dead bodies. So there is still a loot gameplay element to it all. But in terms of upgrading ourselves, we have to make it on our own from scratch. Thank you, kind sir. And our final goal, our final goal is to build a house. So I brought Ty Pennington back once again, because uh, we'll do some more Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Those are the basic rules of just how it will all play out. There's a few other things in there, like if we get a quest, a quest reward and it gives us an enchanted item, we can then disenchant that item. So we are allowed quest rewards for disenchantment, but not allowed to have a quest reward and then equip it as a weapon, because there are some that I think are pretty OP and would ruin the spirit of it all. And that, oh wait, hold on, there's one more slide. There's one more slide. Skyrim Iron Man, there you go. It all kind of comes, it all comes together at the end. But I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Bug Lobster for the Prime and for three months, I really appreciate that. Did I miss, did I miss any others? But I appreciate all, all, all the kind words. There were a lot of kind messages uh, that I thank missed. You, kind, Can we use magic? Yes. Kimmy Grace, thank you very much for the prime. You're in your Skyrim wedding. Do you go through with it? I, I mean, are you in love? If you're not in love and you're not feeling the love, if it's not reciprocated back to you, I, I, I think maybe you call it off. There's a lot of potential people to marry in Skyrim. Thank you, kind sir. If your spouse isn't paying you 100 gold from the store that they own, I don't think you should get married to them. I don't think it was meant to be. But that's kind of it. Maybe I botched the delivery of that presentation, but I worked really hard on the slideshow, and I had a ton of fun making it. And I, it, was a, it was just a fun sort of new thing to... A new way to sort of explain how a challenge will work in a video rather than... I'll probably still script some stuff around it to clarify. Tiantra, thank you very much for the Prime. For three months as well. Thank you. But that's it. So anyways, chat, you are now in charge because I gave you all a very thorough educational explanation on what this challenge is. There are probably going to be a lot of people who come into chat today and say, hey, what's going on today? Well, I already explained it. And we have a very handy PowerPoint for everybody to learn from so everybody can partake in their own Iron Man challenge. Corporate has decided to go with another direct. <laughs> no, wait, come on, corporate. Wait, I can explain. Let me get another chance with the board, please. Let me explain. I, I, I can I can make them come to their senses. I saw the Discord ping for the stream immediately cause I was already on Discord so I got my laptop and I wasn't logged into Twitch and then I wasn't logged into my email to verify my Twitch login and it ruined my day because I'm late to stream now. Well, you're late to stream uh, and I'm giving you two demerits. You're going to have to talk to the principal after school and for penance, you need to pray five consecutive rosaries all in a row. If you don't know how to pray a rosary, thank you, kind sorry, <laughs> sorry.
It's Artemis. You're on the server. Glad you could catch the stream first time. Artemis slash Dova Green, how are you? Buxel, I appreciate that very much. Thank you for the gifted sub. To Gaptop Lel, did I say that right? Also watching, thank you for the tier one. Where are we trapped today? We're not actually trapped anywhere. Uh, we're doing an Iron Man run. Exclamation point, Iron Man. For anybody who may be confused here and for the rest of the stream. Rosary stream when? <laughs> no, I think I'm okay on that. Yeah, we're going to be doing the... Uh, oh, gosh. What are they called? The... I forgot what it was called. We used to do it in Catholic grade school where we would all pile into the church and we would do the... Uh, it had to do with the steps taken of, like, the crucifixion. It was like 16 something. I don't remember. We're not doing the whole carriage ride either. Stations of the Cross. Stations of the Cross. Thank you. That's what it's called. Ulfric Do I have to decorate the interior? We'll have to see. If we get to that point, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited though. This should be fun. We did a little bit of practice last time, so I think we should get a quick start. There's a few places I know I want to go to right away. So hunker down. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do so you can use gold to buy house and logs, right? Just not for merchants. Yes. So there are certain things where gold is going to be worthwhile. So it's still worth collecting the gold. That, that was that was kind of hard for me to explain in slideshow format, though. In the video, it'll be easier. Who are you? Now, in practice, we went with an orc. I kind of want to keep with orc. I like orc. Also, I don't think I have enough orc representation in any of my videos. We've done high elf. We've done a lot of dark elf. You know, Breton and uh, Imperial are kind of the same. Uh, we've done red guard. We've done a little bit of wood elf. I, you know, for all my orc players that are out there, for all the people that, you know, play an orc and have played an orc in Morrowind, then they played an orc in Oblivion. And they played orc in Skyrim. The, the pure orc players, this one is for you. We're going to go with an orc. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to actually, like, I had to change what he looks like, right? I like just to go with the presets. Orc just looks like a survivalist. Like, I feel like an orc is just built for Iron Man. I think, oh, wait, that's right. This is the preset we went with during practice. Because he looks like John Bernthal. Let me tell you something. You're all caught up on the content. Watching at work is fun. Jack of Dubs, I appreciate it. But get back to work, okay? Corporate's not going to have it. What would you guys do if your boss caught you watching one of my videos at work? What if your boss caught you watching one of my videos at work? And instead of being mad, they were like, dude, I watched that channel too. That would be cool. I did, an, I did an orc race. Oh, <laughs> shut up. God. Uh, I'm going to go with the bright green. I kind of like that Shrek look. Obviously, we have to go as built as possible if we're an iron. Oh, my gosh. When you put the orcs weight, like their head just doesn't fit their body. Like it's so the head is huge. But no, we got to go big and built because he looks like John Bernthal. But we want to go with the da da da. That's right. We want to go with the buzz cut. Ooh, or? No. I thought that was a mullet for some reason at first. There we go. Maybe I want to change up the paint. Sorry, I'm kind of getting into this. Dirt, scars, war paint. Here we go. I like the handprint on the face. It's very edgy. Let's go with the handprint on the face. I kind of like purple. Purple, it, it stands out a lot. But we'll go with, we'll go with orange. All right? Half my beard is orange. Fine. 
fix that nose. Wait, what's wrong with the nose? Uh, I mean, it is a little... Kind of like a witch. All right, fine. I don't know which nose to pick. I don't have preference in nose. I'm between these two, though. We'll go with this nose. I don't know why. I like this nose, although it look, it kind of looks like a Falmer. Looks similar to Falmer. All right, the last character is already on my game, so John Bernthal too. You, you're finally awake. Stickman, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the tier one. Did I miss any other alerts? Apologies if I did. How did you end up here, Captain? What should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. This is going to be a bit slower of a challenge. Just want to let you guys know. I'm obviously going to try to play the game as high skill and fast paced as I can at certain times. I've actually had a ton of fun playing the game carefree and a bit risky and trying to just sort of outskill enemies at lower levels. But I, I don't really want to blow this run right away. I want to give myself a good advantage. He's giving iCarly vibes. What? Where, where do you get that? Yeah, actually, this guy's giving me kind of Zoe 101 vibes right now. Where's Chase? You never use archery? Lemur Lord, I don't know if I can believe that. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get What build am I after this run? Oh, I meant to mention that. I don't know, to be honest. I don't want to go stealth archery. I mean, maybe I'll use it, but I really don't want to use stealth a whole lot. I want to play up in the face of the enemies. I think it's more fun that way, a little bit more challenging. Obviously, stealth archery is a ton of fun, but we're going to do Solstheim again. We're going to do Legendary Survival Permadeath on Solstheim again. We're going to beat it, and that one heavily leans into stealth archery, so I'll probably avoid it on this run. Hi, Jube. Attila, thank you very much for the tier one. Thank you for four months. How are you? I don't think I want to use Conjuration much either. Mainly because we're going to use Conjuration a ton on the Solstheim uh, when we do beat that DLC in one try. Mainly watch on YouTube. I appreciate that, Russian Elmo. What would a Russian Elmo sound like? You, kind sir. A is for Apple. S is for Spilrin Storshina. Whatever they would say in Modern Warfare 2. I love you and leave you. 2.30 a.m. in Australia. Well, thank you for checking in, either way. I think we'll probably lean into alteration. If I'm going to be honest with you all, I, I think we might lean into alteration because we're going to have to transmute into uh, a lot of iron into gold. Also, I totally missed... Uh, Wrath Knight, thank you very much for the prime. Imagine I just died right there. Run immediately ends. Can I go survival mode right now, right off the rip? No. I think we have to get indoors. Or do we have to leave the cave before we can turn on survival? I don't remember. But we might try and do some anniversary content. I think that could be fun. Thank you, kind sir. Zombie Bay, thank you very much for six months, one half of a year. We never go with Rayloff, we're going with Rayloff. Actually, no, this is Hadvar. We never go with Hadvar, we're going with Hadvar. Looks like we're the it appears when you first go outside. Was that really a dragon? The bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I won't need the puppeteer figurines until I start making the video, so we'll just drop those now.
No. Screw you, Hadvar. You don't know my life, all right? Don't suggest that I loot equipment. That's cringe. I'm a handyman. I'll build my own sword and armor. Let's get... Let's get all of our magic favorited right away. That would be fun if I just took a power attack immediately. Let me see if I can get that door open. Nope. I'm gone. Later. I've been through this intro so many times. It's almost hard to have fun going through this intro again. All right, we'll just grab dink, dink, bink. Grab that. Alright, I'll let Had I'll make Hadvar's life a little bit easier. Would I ever start videos with a random start from the alternative start mods? I wouldn't be against it. I don't think it changes too much. It just changes the first maybe, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of the game, but at its core, at least mechanically, for me, it doesn't change much. I know it's a lot of other people's preference though. But I kind of, it's weird. I have this weird sort of love for just starting the game as, you know, basic Skyrim. I don't know. Expert is kind of easy. It is here. At this point it will be. But even when we were practicing, I think we died twice. We pushed our luck a few times and died a couple, uh, a couple times. But enemies in the cave are pretty nerfed, especially this bear up here. If we run into any normal bears, they'll be much harder than this one. Still a little bit more damage than I'm comfortable taking. Yeah, like a, a tiny hit of flames isn't going to do that much damage to a regular bear. I could be completely wrong, too. But we should be able to trivialize some of the early enemies. Regular basic bandits shouldn't be too hard. Okay, survival mode, yes. Throw it on immediately. Let's race Hadvar down to the village. <clears throat> okay, that's one butterfly. One butterfly. Chat, let's keep a count on how many butterflies we execute throughout this run. Cheat slash exploit free, for the most part, Corzin, yeah. Like, uh, underground chess, I'm pretty against. Uh, we won't be using conjuration, so there'll be no need to spam conjuration on a dead body. Dead animals don't count. Well, they don't count in terms of we aren't looting weapons or armor from them, right? We're just looting alchemy ingredients and crafting ingredients, leather, Bear claws for stamina. We'll take the warrior. Oh no, I should have gone Rayloff, shouldn't I? Can I still go through? I can still go through the smithing tutorial, right? Because the smithing tutorial is going to get us some really cheap and easy XP. A dagger, maybe a helmet. I should worry about getting some clothes first, though. Is there a challenge that we've ever done in this game where I don't start butt naked? I 
I'd like to avoid catching rock joint right off the rip. No, we could take the, uh, we could just steal him. I don't know if I want to resort to thievery, right? I said this when we were doing our practice run, but wouldn't it be nice to just have an honest, clean playthrough? You know, nothing too crazy. No murder, no thievery. Yeah, thievery does mean hired thugs. They're pretty easy to outrun. Did I hear you? Next time you might want to get dressed before leaving the house. Just so you know, Feindal, by the way, this... Did I see you talking to Sven? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. You know he's right there, right? Also, by the way, this naked body that you're insulting is gonna be piping down Camilla. So bad. The love of your life, by the way. This... this green, orcish, ripped body. Oh. New to Riverwood? So sick of this guy. Did I see... I hate him. Every playthrough. I hate this guy. Can't stand him. All right, Hadvar said you could help me out. Alvor, I need a good start here. Hadvar? How do you know him? How does my son Hadvar know this naked orc? Uh, that's a long story. He helped me escape from prison. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my nephew at all. I doubt he'd be mixed up with the likes of you. How did he get mixed up with the like? Uh, never mind. Suit yourself. I hate to turn away any friend of Hadvar. But in times like these, you are... Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Yeah, your son just broke me out of prison. Uh, can I have a job? Oh, sweet. Thanks. Okay. Iron dagger. I wonder if I make the Beyond Skyrim Bruma iron dagger if it doesn't work. They're probably recognized as two different items. What? The when he shows up here in about... I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadfa. What? Yeah, a dragon, Slave blah blah blah. So earlier. A the Yarl. We need to get word to Yarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you? Okay, your son broke me out of prison. Of I know you don't believe me, but there was a dragon. Can I have a job? Also, can I take a lot of your free stuff? Like I said. I'm glad to help in any way I can. Sweet. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. Mm, the bread's not very useful for survival. Carrots? Maybe we can cook something with carrots? I just want the iron. Uh, did he give me another quest? What was the follow-up? Sorry, chat, one sec. I just want to blow through this as fast as we can. Temper. Ah, got it. Get up. Let me do my job. Apologies if my butt stank gets all over your seat. Take what you need, my friend. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. May the gods watch over your battle. Ah, let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Just speed running through this right now. Like Holda has just started complaining about dragons. I've already gotten hired as an assistant. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Ironers, you have talent. Keep. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? All right, sweet. So we got our star. We got a helmet. We got a dagger. I'm ready to take on the world. I should probably make clothes first, though. I wonder what I need to make armor. We're probably going to go with light armor. Just so we can save on... Uh, I guess we won't be carrying a ton of stuff. No, we will. We're going to be carrying a lot of ore and wood and stuff like that. You just got a creepy ad. 
What type of challenge is this? Exclamation point. Iron Man, if you are interested. Ooh, we can already make... We can already make some iron. I may have to make sunglasses at some point. We also can make a Colovian fur helmet again. Let's go... What do I need for iron armor? No, I have to go light armor. That doesn't look very cool. The Colovian fur armor always looks cool. I really like how it is. Yeah, I just think it's a cool ass look. The little horns on the shoulders. I think it looks great. Sweet. We got clothes. We got a weapon. We got magic. That's all we need. Am I using any mods? Um, if you count anniversary content and beyond Skyrim Bruma, those are the two, really the two only mods that I have. But I've mentioned it a few times. I think for beyond Skyrim Bruma, it really, if you're playing in the vanilla game, all it really adds is a little bit more variety to some of the lower tier armor and weapons. Case in point, the Colovian fur armor we're wearing. Oh, we gotta catch this deer. Butterfly! Die! Wolf! Wait, actually, I'll use the wolf to my advantage. Oh, you coward. Go finish the job. Where did he go? Oh, no, no. I know the corner of the map right there. It's incredibly inconvenient to traversal. Ha, see, wait, no, you're not the deer. Did I miss it? Did anybody see where that deer went? Matching helmet and boots wouldn't kill the looks, right? I think I look great. I don't think there's a single Skyrim player in existence that's ever just chilled with the iron dagger at the start. Especially when you get out of that intro. By the time you leave the intro, you already have at least an Imperial Sword. Or a Warhammer. Oh my god, the deer actually... Where did he go? Thank you, kind sir. I think he threw himself off the... <laughs> off the waterfall. Paragon, thank you very much for the tier one. And congratulations to Dereco123 for receiving a gifted sub. I appreciate that. Killed by, ooh. Was he? All right, butterfly check chat. Hmm? Hmm? You guys keeping track of the butterflies? Yeah, it is three. You want to do an Thank only you, shiv sir. run. Can you temper the shiv? Like, could you do an exploit loop where you upgrade the shiv, enchant the shiv, and just make it an unstoppable one hit? No. We, maybe you can't temper it, but can, you can probably enchant it. These challenges just keep getting more. I really don't think that this one's too obscure, though. I think That's this is just a genuine shot. fun challenge. I think the mechanics of RuneScape and Skyrim are very, you know, not similar. Well, I guess, yeah, similar. Cut from the same cloth. Um, I don't know. I feel so comfortable whenever I log into RuneScape and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to chop a couple of logs, you know? Make an honest, make, make an honest amount of gold today. 
what was I looking for? We have six butterfly. You know what? Let's let's just start off healthy. Yes. Since we can. Why don't I have any armor? We do have armor. What's wrong with you? Orgnar. Orgnar. Are you Unless you were talking about my armor stat and I just didn't notice it's low. Is it? What do we have for armor? 25, 6, 12. Oh yeah, we have 40. Cast iron pot almost ends the run. Look how much damage it did. I about took my ass out. Whoa. How can you kill a god? Whoa. What a grand and intoxicating it is. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Thank you. Destroyed person. That is incredibly kind of you. I appreciate that so much. 20 gifted subs is incredibly generous. Thank you. Very appreciate that. Very much, very much appreciative of that. I'm working on my vocabulary. If you can't tell. This should be fun. It's going to be a bit of a grind. Be a little bit slow at times. But I think it'll be fun. It should be a fun story to tell. Also, I want to make another Skyrim video. It does feel a bit weird doing three Skyrim videos in a row. But I've been having so much fun playing this game recently. I don't know what it is. You know, a few months ago, it would have been... Oh, wait, 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 hold on. I forgot one part of this run. One part of this run that's necessary. The only weapons we are allowed to loot and or buy is a pickaxe and a wood cutting axe. That's it. Those are the only ones we're allowed to get. So I'm going to go get a pickaxe real quick. Because you can't craft a pickaxe. Unfortunately. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Until next time. I'm an idiot. There's gonna be a pickaxe at the mine, won't there? Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be a pickaxe at the mine. I don't know what I'm thinking. What's an Iron Man? If you are curious and you missed the presentation from earlier, exclamation point Iron Man. I put together a very professional, very high effort PowerPoint. Anyway, um, I was saying earlier, I was kind of burning out on these games a little bit. I would say, honestly, right around the time I went full time, to be honest, maybe going full time kind of reinvigorated uh, my enthusiasm for just playing these games. But I have a really good friend of mine who had never played Fallout New Vegas before. He played Fallout 4, he played Fallout 3, he just had never played New Vegas. And I'm like, oh, dude, <clears throat> it's amazing. Like, you'll love it. So he... What is this? What are you doing up here? Thank you. I appreciate the assist. <clears throat> um, so my friend started playing it. I started playing it simultaneously with him. Like, we would just be in... a call at the same time just like both playing fallout at the same time uh now he's playing skyrim again with mods on xbox and then i started playing that casually as well i don't know it just it really helped to kind of make me enjoy these games a lot more like doing a full casual playthrough on my own and just having fun with it and then ever since then every time i've streamed them <clears throat> i've really enjoyed it Okay, let's clear out this cave. Shouldn't be too hard. We'll pop Berserker Rage if we need to. Sorry. That's on me, chat. I forgot about... Uh, <clears throat> I forgot about the most powerful weapon in the entire game. Damn, I almost lost the entire run. <laughs> oh no. I thought they were further ahead. I didn't realize they'd drop on top of my head. Okay. 
All right, Rocky, listen to me. Get in position. There you go. Nice. We need to fill the entire hallway. Create as much collision as possible. I'll be back. There are two bandits who are going to come running at you full speed. I need you all to do the best you can to stay in their way. You got me? Okay. All right, let's do this. Got the pickaxe. Skyrim together is really fun. My friends, uh, unfortunately, aren't on PC. But if they were, I would so try to get them onto Skyrim together. I wonder if it's had any updates recently. I think when they release Skyrim together, the... Okay, yeah, we're just... Let's do it twice. Why not? You can't get blood from a stone. Um, but I think when Skyrim Together came out, the mods were basically like, hey, this was a huge project. We're taking a bit of a break, which completely understandable. But I would love um, if there was a tiny bit more done to it. All right, let's load up Rocky. If you guys have never seen Rocky in action, show of hands, has anybody in this chat never seen Rocky in action? Because you're about to. All right, Rocky, they're on the way. Just like I said, two bandits. Are you in position? In position, boss, waiting for you. And that, my friends, is how you make Rocky work for you. The most overpowered weapon in the entire game. It's not even close. Garnet. That's one thing we want to keep an eye out for our gems. If we find gems, we're able to make really valuable jewelry, and jewelry is a good way for us to get our smithing level up. That's probably going to be our main way of getting good. Never knew there was a coin purse there. Today I learned. See, that's why I love these games. I'm an idiot. There's a bandit directly behind me. If I lose the run here, I'm going to cry. You should give Rocky a promotion. YouTube watcher here, you're catching live for the first time. Welcome. I am. So I read chat on Chatterino, but I also can see the Twitch chat a little bit to the side of it. And I don't see the seven TV emotes in Chatterino. I need to fix that. I know I should probably be taking this opportunity to train my skills, but I really want to see if we can clear out this entire cave with Rocky. I'll promote him to Senior Boulder if he does. Okay. <laughs> it's so easy. I have to be careful, though, when I'm positioning the rocks, because sometimes Rocky has friendly fire. He gets a little bit excited. It's not his fault, though. Is this a modded Iron Man run? It's mostly vanilla. Also, Jenny, I forgot to say, because I got caught up talking about your 7TV emote, my favorite 7TV emote, let's go. Welcome. Shouldn't have taken his key. Actually, I should have. Wait, what did I loot? Did I instinctually just loot a weapon? No, no, no. It was an ingot. Thank you, kind sir. Clairvoyance, coin purse. Is this really the only... Shows the path to the current goal. The wackest spell of all time. Mainly because Skyrim already kind of just points you in the right direction for the most part. Hmm... So we want to clear out this cave, and then we want to clear out the camp just north of Whiterun, because we can also find the transmute spell at that cave. Are you allowed to loot items for disenchantment? Only if it's a quest reward. What are the... Oh, okay, so uh, let me clarify one more time. I should have put this... I meant to put this in the PowerPoint. I forgot to. So quest reward items cannot be equipped, cannot be used, but they can be disenchanted. 
So there is a lot of value in completing quests to get an enchantment. Is chat's, uh, I, that's actually just the, how I've normally had chat on screen. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm taking away Rocky's glory. I can't do this to him. I'm coming, Rocky. Don't worry, I will state your bloodlust. Idiot. Idi bunch of idiots. Fish items usable? No. If I go fishing, I could use the fish, but not the loot from fishing. Just the fish themselves. Big damage. Ooh, did I reposition Rocky enough? I might not have. This could cost me. I'm a rock tactician. Where's your teammate? Oh, don't try and shoot. Come on, get over here. What are you, afraid of some boulders? I just can't take him seriously because I know what his fate is. How am I supposed to accept that trash talk when I know what the end, what's gonna happen to him? I almost feel bad in a way. Now the last lady, she really wants to use ranged, so we probably won't be able to give her to Rocky. Is there lore on why you can't use other armors and weapons? I don't have the lore. I should have come up with some lore. Usually I come up with the lore of whatever stupid, like I usually I make up whatever dumb lore in the video itself. Or sometimes we'll have it on stream. Maybe we'll just come up with the lore here together chat. Darn it. Ooh, beef. We love some beef. <clears throat> Charred skeever hive. That's actually not food. It's an ingredient. But it's restore stamina, so I'm going to take it. We'll need stamina potions at some point. Uh, There's a chest. Where's the chest? Right here. Thank you, kind sir. Juve dragon born chunk, juve dragon born chunk, juve dragon born chunk. Deep, how are you? Thank you very much for the prime. The video in the presentation is not playable without permission? Really? What the hell? My bad, I'm sorry about that. It's kind of important. Am I still a fan of Call Me Kevin? I love Kevin's work. I haven't, uh, I forgot which one of his videos. I just recently watched one not too long ago. I want to say it was a Red Dead Redemption video he did. I love when he covers Red Dead. It's always a good time. What am I drinking? This is a nitro cold brew from my local gas station. Is AE Skyrim worth it? For someone like me, who still plays a lot of Skyrim, I love it. 
I think it's great. Obviously, like a lot of the content is kind of uh, but I, and weirdly balanced. Like there's some really overpowered shit you can get right away. But I I enjoy it. I think it adds a decent amount. You know, I mean, it costs the same as one skin in Call of Duty or Fortnite. Obviously, when you make that comparison, you're like, oh, what a deal. But, you know, weapon skins and games like that are so fucking ridiculously overpriced that anything seems like a good deal. Fuck, a timeshare in Florida sounds like a really good deal. A time a timeshare for a property that's very close to sloping off into the sea seems like a good deal good deal compared to weapon skins in a multiplayer shooter. So is it you know, is it worth it? I believe so. It all comes down to what you get out of it. If you haven't played I would say if you haven't played Skyrim in a really, really long time. And hold on. No, no, there's no way those miss. I want a replay review. Uh, if you haven't played in a really long time and you are going in with the expectation that you're going to play like and do a full playthrough, you know, over several months, then yeah, I would say it's worth it. There's no way I'm getting robbed. Am I really gonna get robbed right now? Lou Clear, I'm so sorry I missed that, but thank you very much for the- Alright, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. I don't have any! Yeah, seriously, do I look like I have cash? Yes, actually. You look like you are lousy with gold. I am not going to ask again. If my run actually ends because I got robbed on the highway, <laughs> that would be pretty immersive. But I'm not going down like this. Are you kidding me? I just cleared out an entire bandit cave using rocks. Then I guess this is the last quest, fool. <gasps> okay, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. What the hell was that? That is ridiculous. What'd he do? He just did like 26, 27? He didn't even finish shit talking me. It was like, bam, end of the action. That's the only time I've ever seen a Skyrim NPC, you know, act with urgency. What the hell is this guy's a deal? I'm not letting him get away with that. Okay, I'm still alive. Oh my God, this guy's out of control. Okay. Get rid of that weird visual effect. I don't like the visual effect that uh, the Berserker ability has. It's super OP, but... He waited until he had the upper hand in that fight to actually start acting like a Skyrim NPC. Like, damn, he started off that fight like a Dark Souls boss. I'm like, nah, I don't want to be robbed. And before I could even finish saying the word robbed, he was halfway through his swing. My main concern there was he gets that first hit in. He does roughly 30%, 25, 30% of my health. And there's a good chance if he activated, let's say a double hit power attack or something, that he could have initiated an execution animation, which those are the... The absolute worst way to die in this game is when an NPC just pulls an execution out of their ass. Which, if this run does end, that's how it's going to happen. 100%. Some random bandit. He's going to pull an execution out. Can we see the magic bar? Oh, yeah, my bad. Let me, let me move myself up a little bit. Sorry about that, chat. That look all right? 
Am I too high, too low? What do y'all think? So the the video in the Google Doc that's not playing, which uh hold on. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent Okay, I didn't do anything. And we show up to solve problems if the co Well, see what a warrior of true I poked the giant in the knee once. Hmm. This guy really knows how to fight. Whoa! New recruit? Uh, the video in the Google Doc is really just an explanation of I what Iron Man is in RuneScape. Rather than much that's super pertinent to this challenge. Um, but the big ones are, we can't use merchants, it's on survival mode. Uh, we have to, any, any equipment that we get at any point needs to be crafted in order for us to use it. We can't loot weapons or armor. Those are the main ones. Probably should have uploaded that, uh, should have uploaded that video to YouTube unlisted. It's only like 45 seconds. Do I know which house I want to go for? Probably Falkreath. Lordstone, it gives 75 armor and 25 magic resistance. 75 armor for the Lordstone? That sounds really aggressive. Like, that sounds really good. No save scum? Well, we can't save scum because we'll die. Halt. Or if we die, the run ends. Official business only. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. I didn't know that was a line. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Wait, no, I'm not an idiot. I don't need speech XP. What do I need speech for? Will the video be in the YouTube vid? Oh, the one f that explains Iron Man and RuneScape? Probably. I might edit it a little bit to make it a bit more, you know, professional. Ben Wee, thank you very much for the tier one. We can use inns. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean. I enjoy this work well. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. Need anything else? Just let me know. Ah, oh, that's the dream, isn't it? Full eight hours of sleep. That's why they call this game a fantasy. Here, take a look at this. Some of the yards men came by and left this bounty. All right, Silent Moon's camp. Mister, I ain't done. Can I spare? You know what? Actually, I can. Well, met hey, come here. Where are you, Lucia? Just one gold, please. There you go. This is my good guy arc. I'm finally, I'm finally gonna be a good person. Oh, thank you, divines. Bless your kind heart. N no problem. It's, it's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since, since Mama, since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but. Don't tell me your aunt and uncle are Nazim and Alam. Uh, Alam. I could adopt. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing the orphan thing again. We already did the orphan thing. No more of that. I didn't do it. I am not the reason that she is an orphan. Okay, I did not kill her mother. I am innocent of these charges. Don't levy any ridiculous claims upon me. I'll have none of it. Let's get ourselves a sword. I definitely want to stay one-handed.
Really? The Beyond Skyrim one does one less damage? I like the look of this iron sword. From, uh, Bruma. Looks pretty cool. Really like the look of this iron club. Ooh, I'm gonna make one of these. I just think it looks cool. I love the spiked club. Two extra damage. Now three. Smithing upgraded. Can't make anything else though. Got some good pieces you out leave here. Weapons for laying around. More inside. Someone could get hurt. If I see you do it again, that someone will be you. Have I made myself clear? We did this last time. But I'm gonna do it anyway because it's fun. No. Do you care about rotting away for a month in a cell? Ah, but nobody wants that, right? Painful for you, annoying for me. So, you pay my fine, and you walk away. Is that so? Well then, I'll have to charge you with disturbing the Jarl's peace. Ridiculous. Ridiculous! Orcs can't get away with anything in Whiterun. This town sucks. I always like to show off that dialogue, though, because the first time I saw it, I was mind blown that it was in the game. Do I ever play OSRS Iron Man or just inf just influenced by it? I play RuneScape very on and off, especially over the last like 15 years. Um, and the account that I have right now is my total level is like 700. And I have about two and a half million net worth in my RuneScape bank. So not a whole lot, not a ton, but I have played it and I'm, I'm inspired for sure by uh, RuneScape. RuneScape creators are definitely a big inspiration. Oh, no way, you did not just jump over that. So if you remember from when we practiced this run, our big first goal is to get smithing, I believe level 30. We wanna to get to smithing level 30 or no? No, we just need to level up and get smithing, uh, steel smithing, cause then we can make the Imperial bow. Also, somebody just asked and they said, what did they say? Uncaged King. One of the women you can marry is a miner who will give you ore. You won't have to buy it. Is that legal? That's minor ER. Okay, don't be weird. Grow up. I don't know. I think that that's okay. I'm not going to push to like get married and immediately, you know, receive free ore every day. Survival mode does also balance it a little bit because we'd have to continually travel back to go see the same person. So I don't think I'm against it. And it does provide, it does provide a lot of um, utility to that spouse. What town are they in? Silgia? Morthal locked swamp Ledix run. That could be fun. I guess, uh, yeah, the Morthal Swamp, it's very similar to Mauritania. Okay, now when we were here on our practice run, there was a massive battle that happened here. A bunch of Imperials and Stormcloaks rolled up to this camp. They don't appear to be here today. This could be a tough fight. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. I don't think I can let, ooh. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Frost, that's bad. 
Okay. Uh, I'm in trouble. I have a lot of restore health. This mage right next to me wielding frost along with the archer behind me. That's not good. I might have ran into this fight a little bit too quickly. Don't tell me this is it, though. Okay, that's really good damage. We're gonna get him. Okay, whew. I got scared there for a second. I thought it was done. I was not ready to lose this first fight already. I don't plan on hiding. Woo, hey. Nice try. Literally John Wick. Cooked beef. We love beef. Means I don't have to cook it. We're not going to be ready to fight the boss in here, though. The boss is a super tough fight. At least early on, they're tough. Come again? That's what I thought. All right, let's warm up real quick. I think we did the map the last time. There was about 60 iron ore in here. Something crazy. Store level up and use in a pinch. I would, Corzin, but it is survival, yeah. Once you get dwarven smithing, the dwarven view is the best thing to craft. The dwarven view? Dwarven bow is the best thing to craft a grind. One iron, two dwarmer ingots. With how plentiful dwarmer scrap is. Oh, yeah, that is true. Once we start getting Dwemer Scrap, the only thing is our carry weight is a little bit nerfed unless we invest into stamina on our level ups. So we won't be able to lug around a ton of Dwemer Scrap. It's really heavy. We'll have to take that into account. You know what the best part about this cave is? It's got rocks. Yeah, see, somebody already called it out and said Rocky's inside and they can help. Oh my gosh, why does it always have to drop directly on top of me? Alright, let's try not to get ourselves killed by Rocky. Just have to set him up in the right position. We just have to give ourselves a little path through. Yeah, so if I cut through and then cut left and hide behind Rocky. Oh, shit. Really? Already? It doesn't work when you don't run full speed. Damn it, run harder. Rocky, you're letting him block you. Oh my gosh, he's thwarted Rocky. Good damage. I'm disappointed in you, Rocky. I'm demoting you from uh, senior Boulder. What was his rank again? Rocky has fallen in battle. Rest in peace, Rocky. There's an oil spill and three bombs inside. Are we winning? Yes, Dad, we are winning. Everybody say hi to my dad. Uh, Void Dweller, that's actually my dad's Twitch account. It's not. It's not. Thane of Mineral. I like that title. It's not my dad. Stop. <laughs> Damn it. Twitch chat, you take things and you run with it. No, you don't run with it. You sprint with it.
Dad plus Juve equals Doove. I would like that more than uh, my dad has applied the title to himself. My dad says um, he calls himself Juve Dad, which I, I, I have to say, all jokes aside, I am incredibly grateful um, that my father is as supported, as supportive and inve in invested in what I do. Um, he doesn't always get it. He doesn't always understand it, but, uh, you know, he's a big, he's a big supporter. Oh, and I know he really wants to be on the show. <laughs> he really wants to be on the stream one day. He will be eventually. Someday. We'll bring him on. Juve dad. Okay, all right. I guess you're, you're you can run with it. You know, technically the name Juve was just suggested from my Twitch chat because my old strange username that my dad hated, uh, Juvenalia, that came from my old garage band. If you don't know the lore, my old garage band in high school. Um, somebody just started spelling it J O O V, and I was like, I like that. It's one syllable. It's nice, quick, and easy. All right, there's still a lot more in here, but that guy right there. This is kind of our first big hurdle. Gotta have a sharp axe to cut through all that fat. Hurry up with it. We've got a merchant in the pit to take care of after we carve this thing up. There's no way I got hit with frost in him. Caps lock. Jesus, I had auto walk on. Uh, Rocky's not, uh, he's not bunched up enough. He won't be able to do any damage. All right. Nice little hit by Rocky there, but I'm gonna get out of here. Don't teleport to me. Is he following me out? Not yet. Let's get him on the outside. I think we have a better chance if he follows us outside. No? All right, let's go get our level up. We'll come back and kill him. I, don't, I just don't want to get too risky here. It's too early. And this, this run will be a lot less fun and a lot more frustrating if I get myself killed immediately. Sunglasses. All right, they don't do anything and they weigh a pound. Those are some heavy ass sunglasses. So I'm changing the rules to allow myself to. Can orcs not wear sun? <gasps> orcs can't wear sunglasses. <gasps> no. Devastating. How dare Ray-Bans not accommodate for their orc customers? This is a crime against the Orsimar population. We serve man or mare. I don't want to hear your lies anymore, Ray-Ban. Okay? Thank you, kind sir. Nope. This is my favorite early game and location to visit. Transmute is busted for a smithing speech loop. I wonder what the... Yeah, because for speech, you can... If you make enough, you can just start giving it away for free. If you don't really care about the gold. It'll still train speech if you give it away for free. Also, Helios, thank you very much for the Prime. Sunglasses mod is kind of broken. Really? I've only ever uh, had it work, although I've only ever used it with the Dark Elf. See, whenever a bandit wears the horns helmet, I get scared. Hold on, what kind of bandit are you? Oh, just a regular bandit. Let you recover, recover, and power attack. Resource stamina, we love that. Firewood. I, I'll chop my own firewood, thank you very much. I'm capable. Pickpocket. 
Nice, restore health. More honeycomb. What? I love this place. Is this loot going to reset here? I'd love to come back to it. Resist fire. I'm going to take it. That's right, Mora Tapanella's Magica. Stamina poison, Skuma. Skuma's just a stamina potion. It's boring. Fuck. Uh, it's boring in this game, but for this run, Skuma is actually going to be kind of worth it. All right, I'm better than this. Thank you, kind sir. Farmer Bald Spot, thank you very much for the prime. Oh, it's a trap. The chest is an ambush. Really? I never knew that. There is no God. Why? Okay. All right, everyone. I'm, I'm, I, can you guys have some confidence, please? Have just a little tiny, tiny shred, an iota, an atom of confidence. That's all, I, all I'm asking. What do we have? We have three bandits. Well, what level are they? I can think through this. We have eight potions of health. Let's check our inventory. We've got stamina. We've got skooma. We have five stamina potions. One magic. We've got a pretty nice stamina potion. Poison. We both go oh, God. What was that? It's a horse. It's just a horse. It's, ju it's only a horse. It's just an equine. We're all good. Okay, there's a bandit mage right behind him, though. God damn it. Did I really just get jump scared by a, a steed? We'll keep our distance. One at a time. One down. Big hit. But I'm alive. Don't let the other one catch up, though. Yeah, she's going to deal a lot of flames. Lots of damage from her. Two healing potions. It keeps me alive. I still have five left. Take some drugs. Give me the skooma. I'll do another stamina potion so we're at half stam. Switch to healing and push. Come on. Come on, chat. You got to have some faith. I don't like that I've had to burn through a ton of my potions already. But we'll be able to make more. Isn't it funny, though, that right before that, I was like, oh, cool, resist fire uh, flowers. Is this a free? Why is it stealing? I'm taking this fucking horse. This is not stealing. I'm saving this horse. It doesn't have anybody. Also, horse gameplay? That doesn't happen very often. You should put a jump scare warning in the... No, I'll just, I'll just let it happen. I've played this game so much in my life. It's much less scary to me than Oblivion. And I still let this game fucking jump scare me. It's always stupid things that jump scare me, though. Spiders? Nah, whatever. It's a spider. I'm not scared. Eldritch demons that rise from the dead? Nah. I'm good. That's nothing. Right? Horse? <laughs> Horsey boy? Now that's real shit. What is my horse's name? Uh, gone. He's gone. He's gonna bolt. If I leave the town, he's not coming back. <clears throat> I wonder if I have to pay rent again. Dragon's tongue. A lot of dragon's tongue in town. Give a holler if you have any questions. That's a fine potion. That's a pretty good mix. Fortify and restore health. Could pop one at the beginning of a fight. Foolish old man. You know nothing. Nothing. 
nothing of our struggle. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Warm food, warm drinks. Oh, cool. I thought I was going to have to pay rent again. Let's go with stamina. We'll take steel smithing as our first perk because I want to make a bow so that we can go kill a bunch of deer. I think that's step one. Just go out into the plains, murder a bunch of deer. Well, not murder. Hunt a bunch of deer. You get jump scared by fish in Minecraft. Got some I could see that. Minecraft is kind of scary. It's definitely the scariest children's game. I remember when I first played Minecraft, I was about 15. I want to say it was 1.6. Does anybody remember Minecraft 1.6? It was before hunger was even in the game. It's when the only way you could heal was just by eating uh, cooked meat. Cooked pork. But I'll never forget playing that game for the first time, having absolutely zero idea what to do, and hiding in a dirt square, terrified, hearing the spiders right outside. I was like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, help. <laughs> I'm terrified right now. And I'm not aware that there's an entire wiki page and hundreds of YouTubers that can help me out with this game. So scary. Beta 1.6, yeah. I think it was 1.6.2. To be like, really precise. What is that? Thank you, kind sir. That was a solid zombie. Yes, I was gonna ask, how was my impression? We doing right? RSW, thank you very much for the Prime. Are you a Minecraft fan? I'm an idiot. I didn't craft a bow. The whole point was so I could craft a bow. That just feels barbaric, taking out a deer with a club, elk. Same thing, right? Butterfly count, what are we at? Butterfly kill count, anyone know? Have I seen Skyrim without breaking the Ten Commandments? Yes, I have. I have, that was a funny video. I think I, I might have commented on it, but I have seen the video for sure. I usually always try to uh, leave a comment if I see something Elder Scrolls or Fallout related that I really enjoy. Just cause like, I know when I first started making YouTube videos, um, that if, you know, any of the creators that I was watching at the time commented on anything that, you know, I made, I would have like, you know, lost my mind and been uh, super ecstatic and just really appreciated it. And I think it's important to always support other people who are making videos on these games because it's the most creative and best community there is truly truly it's my favorite there's an amazing one there's a video i really enjoyed where somebody did um fallout 4 without leaving uh Sanctuary. I know many a true nerd did it a long time ago. Um, I don't remember the exact goal of this one. But it was awesome. It was really good. It was one of like the first videos on this channel. So funny. What was I looking for? Bow. We need to make a bow. I'm getting a bit distracted. Not the one to get all perks, but I did also watch that video and it was awesome. That one was really, really cool to see because they took the gunner farm just to the next level and it started to destroy their game. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Imperial bow, two 
steel ingots. Okay, what do we need to make steel ingots? We need corundum ore. I'm not 100% sure where corundum ore might be. Oh, yeah, I'm the guy who littered. Quick, get this bastard. He's disturbing the Jarl's peace. Alvor has some at his shop that I... Oh, yeah, I don't want to steal, though. I miss my horse already. I think we can avoid stealing. Right? You can't really steal things in RuneScape, can you? Unless you murder another player. You were gifted a sub. How do you use it? Um... You technically already are because Twitch won't throw you any ads. Oh, they're by uh, Falkreath? Outside Tundra House? Did you guys really all get thrown an ad as soon as I said that? Get the fuck out of here. That no. <laughs> no way. Oh, man. I want to say there's two an hour. I think that's the least I can run on Twitch. Oh, it's the Holy Grail. A butterfly murder die you beautiful squishy dainty little beasts come here where are you target spotted I'm zooming in I'm locating him this one's gonna be easy boys let's go home what's the butterfly kill count anyone know 11 All right, I'm glad we're keeping good track of it thank you kind sir Bandit man, thank you very much for the tier one. Although I have to say, I'm probably going to kill a lot of your bandit friends throughout the rest of this run. So you may want to look away at certain times. Oh, come on, how do we miss there? Where'd that deer go? Sorry, elk. Hitting the ore, hitting the ore. Trust me, it ain't no bore. Yes, I finally got the jingle to rhyme. I've been really off on my jingle game lately. Shit, you're right. Thief is a skill in RuneScape. Mm. It's very true. You can actually steal things in RuneScape. First try. Shoot. No, that wasn't it. That was it. A little bit more this way? Yeah, I think we might get it. If we don't... Hmm, it's a little bit more to the left. Is it... Did we overshoot it? We did. No? Yeah, we did. Whew. 
Okay, we got it. 119 gold? Love it. Gold will play a role. Especially when it comes to buying the house. There are certain things we'll want to buy with gold, but obviously without traders, saving up on gold is going to be tough. Got another deer. I think I want to check out the eastern side of Whiterun. Somebody mentioned there might be Corundum over there. Uh-oh. Whoop. No. Not happening. I'm not going to accidentally break the rules. Let's take some lavender. Not a bad idea to try and make some resist magic. Can we go tundra cotton lavender? Is that resist magic? I want to say it is. Resist magic. Resist. Yeah. Okay. Tundra cotton lavender. We should be making resist magic. That's probably going to be our Achilles heel in terms of combat. How we get killed if we do. Running into some high level mage. A broken lock. Oh my god, that's a great idea. Viking. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. We have to do that. That's probably my favorite emote suggestion I've gotten in a long, long, long time. Um, maybe ever, perhaps? Is that the greatest idea of all time? Now you guys can just spam the chat and shame me if I ever break a lockpick in any of these games. I'm going to, I'm telling you right now, when Starfield comes out, I'm going to be ace. That's the first thing I'm going to do is perfect whatever lockpicking mechanic is in that game. Although, from the one brief clip I've seen, it looks really easy. Which does bum me out a little bit because I'm like, oh man, like this, the lockpicking minigame in all the like games from Fallout 3 until Skyrim are perfect. I do prefer Oblivion's lockpicking minigame because there's more of a skill ceiling, but this lockpicking minigame, it just, it, it, not to quote the man himself, it just works. It works. Okay, who do we got here? Warning me of what? I mean, they did kill a mammoth, so they could be tough, but I don't think they did. I think that mammoth is a, it is a poacher. Is that a static dead body? Or did they clear out the whole camp? Are poachers a higher level bandit? Might as well find out. No, they're not. Holy. Fortify health, minor healing. That arrow did a lot more than I thought. Let's at least take the first one out. Dodged, nice try. Oh, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay, not bad. The first power attack that got us, though, that was scary. Could have saved my potions. I've been very uh, generous with my potions. But I want to play it safe. If I'm going to blow it and lose this whole run, I'd rather lose the run way later down the line. Here we go. Big opportunity for us here. Or purple mountain flowers again. Purple. I want to say it's... It's restore stamina? I did not know that. Are you literally doing Iron Man? No, no, no. We too, uh, um, we can only use weapons and armor if we craft them ourselves. Oh God, we might as well help out Cicero. Fine. Okay, what do you want? You know, I've never actually done this quest in any of my videos, so we might as well engage. That's why, uh, that's why, by the way, the, um, the main 
uh, goal we have is Hearthfire because honestly, I've never covered it. I haven't played Hearthfire content in a decade and I don't know if we ever will have another opportunity to do Hearthfire content. But might as well while we're here. Ah, me fuddled. Stuck here. Fuck! My mother, my poor mother. Unmoving. At rest. But too still. Problem. Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But, ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon, wagon wheel. wheel! Quick, somebody call Darius Don't Rucker. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. I know, I know, the original is Old Crow Medicine Show. Oh. <laughs> hey, I use that animation in my videos all the time. Yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. Uh, convince Loris to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. I don't care how weird you are, you're going to help me buy my new house. So yes, I will help you. If anybody ever promises me money, I have to accept it. There's not a lot of ways for me to make cash out here. So, sure, if helping this... Oddly eccentric person. Transport their dead mother. Okay. That is that is strange. It, it is possible, though, to have a funeral procession of one. Right? It is weird, though, to be driving the hearse. Red mountain flower. That's resist fire, isn't it? It's restore magicka. Okay. All right. Cool. I guess I'm taking it. Love of Mara, what now? Hey, you're walking out of frame, okay? I'm here recording. Why don't you be respectful towards the camera angle and stay in one spot? That Cicero fella? Huh, tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? What, dude, he needs help with a wheel! Helping a registered C What? Cicero? I didn't know. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's, uh, all right. Pay me. You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma? In no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Dude, you can plead ignorance, first off. Secondly, I really wish in Elder Scrolls, just let it rip. I wish everyone was like Idgrod Ravencrone, mother of my eye. Just, just Beyblade, let it rip and just say, mother, my ass. My ass, dude, come on. I know that's what you want to say. He's a stranger who needs this. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. Like, dude, just help him out. Build the wheel. What? And just who in Mara's name are you anyway? Hmm? Come here telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Okay. All right. I'm on your side now. No, no. You should help him. Look, I, I. Yes, you're right. You're right. Easy. Might be nutters. Might not. But the fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. See? what I tell y'all? I'm on my good guy arc, okay? I'll help this poor traveler in need and move on about my day. Would I help a creepy, giggly guy in a jester's outfit stuck outside of your farm in the middle of nowhere? Well...
none of your business what my answer would be, okay? We're talking about Skyrim. Good Samaritan would have reported him to the guard. I forgot, yeah, there's a guard walking right there. Here, here for your troubles. Shiny clink gold. A few coins for your kind deed. And thank you, thank you again. <laughs> oh, I thought it glitched for a second. All right. A cool 250. We helped out someone in need. We move on about our day. But now come to think of it, if I was in Loris's position, I'd be thrilled to run into somebody like Cicero. Like, wow, you have a way more unique personality than everyone else in Whiterun. You've got like five templates to pick from when you're walking around White, uh, Whiterun in terms of the people you'll run into. So yeah, I'd help him out. No hesitation. Or I wouldn't help him out and I would keep him along the road. That way he can continue to entertain me with his vibrant personality. Who needs block? Just kill faster. Still not a fan of all the damage these wolves are doing. Oh my gosh, I am in the wrong direction. For some reason, in my head, I always thought Lorius Farm was right here along the road. Not that far north. Yeah, we want to move south. Can we please save Miko? No. I mean, we can save Miko, right? But M Miko the dog, I was just playing casually on my uh, on my Xbox a week ago. I had to get rid of Miko. The dog never, ever shuts up. It never stops barking. It is constant the whole time. And it drove me crazy. I didn't kill Miko. I just told Miko to go home. Is this the default Skyrim? No, it's uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. It's got the same stats as the uh, vanilla mace, though. Or roughly the same. Sneaking with a dog is super immersion breaking. Yeah. And it's 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 a bit disappointing because it would be cool to have a dog meat equivalent in Skyrim. If Miko just, you know, was able to, you know, close his snout, wouldn't be as bad. They're fighting something. Oh, sweet battle. I've done all I can in this fight, officer. Don't think it'll ever get old killing a bandit in the middle of their shit talk. Is this stealing or no? It's free. I'm watching. Oh, come on. Stop right there. Come on, that wasn't illegal. That's craziness. You guys are out of control. But I'll take the free fast travel into Whiterun. Smart man. Now come along with us. I don't have any stolen goods on me. That's crazy. I have broken no laws. I littered and I opened up a chest that wasn't even marked as owned. 
crazy. The people of the White Run, they just don't want to see an orc succeed. They are actively working against my objective. Crazy. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. We're gonna be able to make a ton of potions though right after this. I have to be a bit careful though because I could overload myself with potions and make carrying ore a bit difficult. Although we're gonna get a level up. I'm gonna take stamina again so we'll be at 160 pounds carry weight. Let's get to sleep, get our level up, craft some more potions. I think I'll just take alchemy as my next perk. Take the first one. It's probably worth it. Steed is... Uh, we should take Steed. I don't know. I mean, a lot of the standing stones are going to be good. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. <gasps> no way. I don't have to pay rent. Save 10 gold. I spend a lot make a backpack? Uh, we have to get corundum ore before we can make a backpack. Ah, crap. The stores aren't open. Adrienne's open. She's right to work. Leather is really heavy. I don't claim to be the best. Let's make some. I know there's more efficient ways to get smithing XP. Watch me get arrested for... <gasps> Whoa. Look at that. I dropped the sunglasses. They float, but they also spin around. They're like a painting that always follows you, although I think they just froze up completely. No, they're still following me. Weird. That's strange. But Joyce, thank you very much for uh, sending your stream over. I appreciate that. How was your stream? Was it Elder Scrolls and or Fallout related? If so, bonus points. I don't know. Oh, I got the iron arrows from getting shot. This is going to look crazy. After enough grinding. How are we doing on food? Uh, I got to cook all my food. I don't have too many salt piles either. Food could get a little bit tough. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You look rather pale. Could be What? Oh, could, what? Could, I'm hungry? It's quite a problem back home in Do you judge everybody in town who's hungry? All right, that was big. We are at 118 out of 160 pounds. Resist magic. Lots of restore health potions, restore stamina. We got a good amount. More health potions. Don't have a lot of minor magicka, though. Let me check in here. We've got... 
Red Mountain Flower is magic. Resist magic. Purple is stamina. Oh, uh, where's the... Oh, damn, did I already make them? I'm Anita. Fly Amanita. Huh? Is it maybe it's a different Amanita? I could be wrong. Will I ever try a modded Skyrim challenge at some point? Well, I mean it it depends. Maybe not completely overhauled. Oh, damn it, my rent expired. Fine, I'll pay up. If it's worth your sure thing. It's Thank yours. you, kind I'll sir. You to your room, right this way. Hold on, I know where the room is. Alright, I'm a regular. Snap my spine. Thank you for the tier one. I'll go health. And for a first perk, it's probably not a bad idea. Where is it? I'm going to go restoration. I always like to take the first restoration perk kind of early. Because if I if in a in a pinch, I have to use my healing spells, I can save up on potions. I'm not burning too much magic just to get my health back. Increase our survivability, like in combat survivability. Shit, I need food. Damn. I keep running away and then forgetting. Oh, I got to cook my food. We'll be in a pretty good loop here soon. I think we're gonna move up north, try to clear out Silent Moon's camp, claim the bounty. Get off, get off the, get off the, let me, my turn. Mom said it's my turn on the cooking spit. Thank you. All right, bandit camps usually have a lot of salt. So if we go back to that cave, we'll get a pretty good amount. Thorg, thank you so much for watching the channel and for playing Skyrim again. Because naturally, the more people that play these games, uh, the, the better it is for uh, just the channel in general. But I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Glad to be of service in your uh, newest run. Are you doing any special limitations or just a regular plain Skyrim run or heavily modded or something like that? As soon as you're out the gate, hook a right. Oh, is there a shortcut I'm missing? I always take that path. Let me ask you all. What route, what route do you take when you leave White Run? Because for me, it's almost always up here along the railing. Try to make that jump and look cool. And then down this way. Does anybody take option A? Does anybody go down the whole road, the winding road? Oh my gosh, there is a secret path. I've never taken this route. Hook a right and boom. You're right there. Quick access up north or north. Yeah, north. That is north. I know my directions. Just hold W. Never choose the cheaters route. It's illegal. You'll get arrested for it. I mean, God, I, I'm, I'm getting arrested for littering, disturbing the Jarl's peace, taking from a chest that was clearly not marked as owned. Wouldn't surprise me if Whiterun decided to pull that law out of their ass. New form of lollygagging. No running in the street. Uh, let's check out this cave. What time is it? 
Do you guys remember what happens in uh, 22 minutes? What you're supposed to do? Was anybody here at the beginning of the stream that uh, remembers the order that I gave? How many faithful soldiers do we have out there that hear the message? Oh, there you go. We're not quite there yet. Who's that? Doesn't look like a regular bandit. It might just be a hunter. But if they're going to take out a deer, then I can steal the kill from them. Or not quite the kill, but at least the leather. You can't hide from me. Uh, you just lost the deer on a rock. Honestly, I think a lot of things could hide from you. You can't hide from me. Clearly, it can. You you're struggling really bad right now. Guess it's all clear now. Okay, so there. please, you have to help me. I was There's someone there. Thought I heard something. Okay, you were attacked by a vampire. I feel like that's a little bit more pressing than this fox. This is the end. If you hit this shot, I'm going to be really impressed. Come on, you got this. You can't hide from me. Come on, let it's it. All clear now. What are we gonna talk about the vampire? Hey! You there, please. You have to help me. I was attacked by a vampire. Do you have a potion or something that can cure this before I turn? Slow down, yeah. Where did this happen? Here. I'll show you on your map so you can stay away. Please, if you can help me. Let me know or get out of my way so I can try to find a priest. Okay, but do we have to have the conversation from this distance? It's a bit awkward shouting, don't you think? It's gonna be echoing throughout the entire valley. See ya. Did she already turn? No, I thought her eyes were red there for a second and she turned. It'd be really unfortunate if she accidentally walked into a bunch of deadly mud crabs and lost the battle. It seems like she did get into a fight with the mud crabs. No, the mud crab murdered two wolves. There's a mud crab right behind me. They hit a bit hard early on. Why are mud crabs such alpha chads in Skyrim, by the way? Okay, not that one. Maybe they're weak to fire. Restore stamina. Yeah, mud crab chitin's pretty good. Oh, well, that was a fun little interaction. Vampire attack is less important than eating. I just thought it was so funny. Like, it was a pressing matter. Like, sir, please, you must help me. Fox, where? Like, the same logic that dogs use whenever they just immediately shift focus on something. Like, a dog could be having the greatest nap ever in existence, and as soon as they hear keys jingle, it's like... <gasps> That was the fox for her. It was the keys jingling. All right, I'm a little scared that if we go in this way, the bandit boss will be right at the door and immediately hit us with a power attack or something. So we got to be careful here. Should have gone sneak. No, bandit boss, not right at the front door. Well, let's position Rocky for this fight. I know exactly what to do. There's a choke point right here that the bandit is gonna hit full speed and try to sprint through. So let's get Rocky right in position. Right there. Excellent. Rocky number two. So is each individual rock Rocky? Like, are they all Rocky on their own? Or is it a collective Rocky movement? Is each trap each individual collection of rocks is that rocky are they each a separate rocky or is every combined rock trap in the game the same rocky does he split his essence in between a bunch of different rocks if anybody's ever seen hunter hunter like uh, shower poof is it like that ability like he splits himself up into multiple smaller versions of himself and spreads out. Oh, 
Oh, this is beautiful. As long as I make that jump, we'll have to practice it. But this could take out Alduin. That'd be a fun challenge. Push rocks up to the top of the throat of the world and win that first fight with Alduin just using rocks. I bet it would work. If a dragon landed on the ground with enough force and just landed on top of the rocks, their collision, it would probably fuck up their collision a bunch. Okay, let's... Yeah, it should work. All right, let's go get the bandit boss. Or steal some of his ore first. Make a lot of noise first. Killing a dragon by stubbing his toe. Fusro Dal the rocks. I don't have any shouts yet. I feel like shouts go against the essence of Iron Man. Although, in RuneScape, if you're doing an Iron Man run, technically all the mechanics of the game are available to you outside of, you know, banking and whatnot. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, he's coming. This is it, Rocky. This is your moment. This is the most important fight you've ever been in. Get up, get over. Come on. You're not afraid of some rocks now, are you? He actually ran away. It was me, you idiot. Oh, he's coming. Good jump. Oh my gosh. He thwarted Rocky's move immediately. Oh, thank God he went into that animation. That was huge. All right, Rocky, you did enough. Stumble. Immediately down to a knee. Execute. I'm a little bit disappointed in your showing, Rocky, but I think you did enough there to warrant not a promotion, but we'll keep you along. We'll, we'll keep you around. We won't fire you. Akam, thank you very much for the tier one. Mining is faster with just free swinging. It is, but when I do, um, when I go into mining, it's easier. I get a nice little couple seconds off and I can read chat catch up on it. It's a good little break. Salt pile. Okay, I feel like salt piles are always going to be in this little burlap bag. Is that what burlap is? Nope. More salt. That's the plan, Melda. Yeah, if we can, if we can get uh, transmute, which we will hear soon. Crafting gold jewelry is really nice for leveling. Also, it doesn't show me in on chat arena, but I did see that somebody flexed their wealth. Congratulations. Where is it? Congratulations. You've wasted 20,000 channel points. That's all you get. <laughs> that's all you get. Weakness to poison? I thought small... No, that's large antlers that are... Also, just eating antlers is insane. Psychotic. I'm not going to lose to a novice lock here now, am I? Okay. Is that a trap or something showing off? That's a trap. 
That one almost killed us last time we played here. This whole little hallway is covered in traps. It's also covered in iron. Blacksmith's potion will want to save that. I think the blacksmith potion, uh, it's for upgrading your gear, right? Weapons and armor improving, 20% better. Yeah, it's not for crafting something. It's just for upgrades. Silver ore, iron ore. Already looted the chest. More iron ore. I don't think we grabbed those last time. Nope. Not allowed. See, the game's trying to make me break the rules. I will not let this game break me. Let me check uh, real quick the Google document, because I think that little video on it, while really dumb, is useful. Let me just check it real quick. See if I can allow permissions to play it. Thank you, kind sir. Driz, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Am I a Sony Vegas user? No, I use OBS to both record and stream. So we'll go to do to do. Okay, Google Slides. I get so confused. I'm so I'm so bad at my job sometimes. No, that's not that's the user submitted quest PowerPoint. So let me let me get on here. Oh, wait a minute. Is it because, hold on, I'm gonna look into this real quick. It might be because the video is on my Google Drive. So it might have to be a Google Drive setting that I change. Now, obviously, I don't want to give everybody access to my Google Drive. I don't really use Google Drive, though, but I might be able to set one video as just this video. Make a copy, manage. Okay, try it now. I wonder if it will prompt you to download it though, which would be a bummer. No, I, I won't be able to upload it to YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry for editing. Uh, I use uh, I use DaVinci Resolve for all my editing. Did you get here at the end of the stream? You did not get here at the end of the stream, although we're very shortly gonna have to take a brief break so I can run to the bathroom and Take the dog. I'm dog sitting out. I'm inside the trap. This is not going to kill me, is it? As soon as I gain control of my character, is my collision box going to kill me inside the trap? Okay, we're good. We're alive. I thought for some reason my hitbox was going to glitch out. If I activate this, am I going to get really glitched? No, okay. What cave are we in? Silent Moon's camp. What kind of dog is it? It's a micro Aussie. So it's an Australian Shepherd, but really small. His name is Chewy. Short for his full name, Chewbacca. Chewy. 
Chewy, Choo Choo Choo. He goes by a lot of different names. Halted Stream Camp? Is the dog as annoying as Miko? No, he's not. He's a sweetheart. Way too hyper for you to put up with. Most of the Aussies we've had in our family have been really chill. But the one that my mom just got, Archie, who you guys have seen before, when I made that one stream intro where he was fighting a carrot and I edited it to look like an Elden Ring boss fight, he's really hyper. He's, he's very excited all the time. Where's the dog cam? We had a, uh, What's I think I have me. Uh, Lurka. What's up with you? How are you? Thank you very much. Uh, the first time I ever streamed, I've told this story a few times, but my first stream ever, I was, I've, I've talked about it before. How I was, in, I was incredibly self-conscious about getting into streaming or doing content or anything like that. But the first stream I ever did, oh, where, where, and why? I don't know what hit me. I'm not pushing it. Fuck, it is halted stream camp. I could have sworn this was Silent Moons. Ah, Silent Moons is the one right next door. Missed this one. Did we get any corundum or steel yet? Not yet. We're probably pretty close. Adorable Badger, this is your first time making it to a stream? Thank you very much for stopping by. Can we get an Archie camera? Unfortunately, Archie does not live with me. Uh, you guys will, though, eventually be able to meet Archie. Because my plan is, in the next couple of months, very soon, uh, to go up north, close to where my parents live. So I'll have to... Poacher's Axe. Just on a bandit? As a random loot item, that's very strange. Has anybody ever seen this enchantment? Is it anniversary content? Three points extra damage to animals. Um, but I'll probably have to dog sit for Archie. So Archie will one day eventually be on the stream for sure. It's unique and it's always there. Huh. Can you disenchant it? Will transmute have any utility that's run 110%? And you know what? I'm going to favorite it. Let me favor clairvoyance. Favor transmute. Worth every Let's get some gold ore. Glowing sea series. Awesome stuff. Oh, Lurka, thank you so much. I have so much love for the Glowing Sea series. Um, even though I only have disappointing news in terms of the future of it but thank you that was one of those videos that i had so much fun well all three of them i had so much fun making them Is that Maik? Maik! How are you? What are you doing all the way out here, buddy? Maik carries two weapons to be safe. What if one breaks? That would be most unlucky. Maik, you know as well as I that durability is not a thing in this game. Okay? <gasps> Gold, okay. I thought we just found a corundum ore vein. We're going to. Get back to town. Oh, man, I want to transmute all this. I have potions of strength. I have two more, which means I have roughly 10 more minutes of really high carry weight. What's my carry weight? Yeah, 180. 
So let's use these potions, hit the eastern side of town, and look for Corundum over there. Somebody mentioned that there might be some over there. If there isn't, so be it. We'll try to get back to town with all of our stuff. Imagine being Juve and never giving us more glowing sea content. I know. I, I For me, it always kind of comes down to if I'm having fun playing it and doing it, then I'll have fun making a video on it. Like, I had so much fun with Solstheim and Turkey Stick. So much fun that I was able to make the video with all the love and... Woo! He came flying through! With all the love and care and attention that I, you know, usually try to when making my goofy videos. Even, you know, three or four months after all the footage was sort of out of date. It's always much harder to tell a story when I'm disconnected from the footage by a lot of time. But with Solstheim, it was easy. And with the glowing sea, the latter half of it started to get really samey and grindy, and there weren't very many unique positions that Nora and crew were being put in. And being five, six months removed from the footage made it much less enjoyable to work on. If that makes any sense. Oh, it's 3.30. It's 3.30. All right. I'm going to go take the dog out. Hey, how's it going? Um, I know things might look a little bit weird right now, but I swear it will all make sense. That was an accident. That was an accident. I didn't mean to play that. That's the intro for this video, though, when I eventually, you know, when we eventually finish and turn this into something. I meant to play a song and switch the scene. So let me save my game real quick. Um, this is the one I was looking for. OK, I'll be back. Your leash. Hold on. I don't know where my shoes went. I don't know where the dog's leash went. Uh, I'll figure it out. I know, I know, we're gonna go. I, oh, he's getting all, you're getting all excited. Oh, what? Don't. His nub tail is getting out of control. He's getting really excited. All right, hold on, chat. One sec. I'm going to give you a new song. I'm actually going to give him a bite to eat, and then then I'll take him outside. So I might be, honestly, like five, maybe ten. I don't know. Go uh, get, a, get some steps in. Sunlight. Maybe take a, a vitamin D supplement or uh, something. I don't know. Whatever works best.
to each their own. Thank you, kind sir. All right, he's in the middle of munching on his food, getting his, his nummies in. We gave him like a half, half scoop of the wet food, scoop of the dry food. Um, to my aunt and uncle, I'm sorry if I gave him too much. Also ear reveal. I'm not rushing him. I'm letting him take his time with his nums. Not rushing him, taking all the time in the world. That song's too short. That song's too short. That song's too short. That song is about seven minutes. I don't know what you guys just got, but I'm gonna let it play. What did you guys get? I don't even know if that's a song. I can barely hear it. All right, I'll be back. I'll bring Chewie. We'll give him a treat together.
Punch you. You guys, you'll never believe this. He pooped and he peed. He did both. And, and, in hindsight, I should have put a prediction up right before I went off. Come here, Chew. I know the green screen is scary, but we got a treat. Boy. Come here. Say hi. Come here. Say hi. Because you're a good boy. Gentle. Yes. Dog ASMR. Make sure you crunch in the mic for him. Woo! Not in the... Woo! Oh, oh, I'm getting gassed out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He pooped and he peed. And now he gets to go take a nap. Boy. Okay. Whew. Little dogs and their breath. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. I know, I know I used the garbage bag for it to grab it, but it just feels wrong. We'll play it later. He really wants to play, I can tell. He's given the look. He's given the look. He's like getting all excited, licking his chops. He definitely wants to play. You're gonna believe you like dog? Not me. Uh, what was our plan? Okay, I remember what we were doing. So we want to move towards Tundra Homestead, look for Corundum Ore while we have our potions. Right back into it. I like how I went from loving an animal and being like, oh, you're so, you're so good. I, this creature. I love this creature with my entire heart. And now in Skyrim, every single time I see a creature, I just murder it. Without a second thought. Really? It already ran out? Okay, we got five, ten minutes. I think this is the area somebody recommended Corundum. In front of the forge at the homestead is a vein. Nice. You, my friend, are a legend. If there actually is a Corundum ore vein. Corundum ore vein. Did I pass it up? Check the chest. Oh, we got it. All right, Corundum. Has that always been there or was it added when the house was put here for anniversary edition? 
halfway to flexing your wealth. It's a big deal. Flexing your wealth in chat is huge. How many did I get? Three? I think that's enough. I mean, we have a smelter right here. We might as well use it. I'm going to save the iron ore for now. We need a little bit more corundum before we can make a bow. I'll hide here. Oh my gosh. The... Okay, we've got everything we can need here. What? It's in the chest? I'm taking it. I'm taking it. It's free. Anvil? Or is that used to improve weapons? No, the anvil is just used for crafting. Let's go gold necklace. Hunter's backpack. No, I think I'll go adventurer backpack for sure. I always like the extra stamina. Stamina? Stamina? Imperial bow? I'll need some firewood before we can make arrows. <clears throat> This is going to be a really hard run to make any other really cool arrows, though, sadly. But, I mean, that's already a huge... We'll throw on... Yeah, backpack. Even when our thing runs out, we shouldn't need it. You just watched the charity stream from a while back? The whole stream? Using items from the... It is pay to win. It's, it's pay to, uh, it's pay for self-improvement. Okay. All right. This isn't, it's not pay to win. Let me check something really fast. Uh, Pentaxer, thank you very much for the prime. I totally missed that. Andy Drew, thank you so much for the 100 bits and for screaming dog. I think those are the two alerts that I missed. I just wanted to catch up. I had my, my windows were all messed up in the order that I had them. We should do, what, is that clay? It is, it's a clay deposit. Usually enemy encounters right here. There's a naked dead body. Along with the storm cloak. Fake storm cloak? Never should have come. Dude! How does the power attack get through? That should easily be a stumble. That should be damn near a block. I guess that's what the... You know what I should probably do for some of those is switch to block and try to just counter the power attack. I mean, that's literally what that mechanic is for. This move literally exists only for just stopping a power attack. And the crazy thing is I didn't even realize that was its main use until about two weeks ago. Like in terms of the rock, paper, scissors of combat or the sandbox of combat in this game, that's what it is. The bash. It's just for interrupting a power attack. It's worth it though. Because you can interrupt a power attack and then save, uh, um, or you can keep your distance close. Do deposits regenerate? I'm not sure how often. They do at some point. What was the poll we were running? Wii Sports? Also, thank you very much to the mods for running that while I was away. That's really cool of you. Just to, you know, keep things going a little bit. My chair can only do so much work. Best main menu theme. How does Wii Sports go again? Hmm. 
I'm trying to think of it. We sports. All I can hear right now is the Wii menu, like when you would hit that button on your controller accidentally and it would woom, 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 bring up that little overlay. And almost always the Wii remote was almost was like nearing no battery. Do you guys remember the how good the battery industry was probably doing during the Wii sports craze or just during like the Wii in general? It might be a generational thing, but so many people I knew had a Wii and they always had four controllers and it was always like constantly like, oh, this one's out of battery. Check that one. This one's out of battery. Grab the remote. Take them out of the TV remote. Grab the batteries over here. Batteries over here. Three Xbox 360. Right. So you had Xbox 360 and the Wii kind of at the same time, just chewing through batteries. I enjoy this. Are you joking? You just rented a room. Okay, you don't have to be mean, all right? Sometimes I forget. I got a lot going on here, Holda. The last person I need making fun of me is my steward, all right? What, Sadia? Huh? I know what you're doing here. I know who you are. I'm under a lot of stress right now, Holda, and I need you on my side. I'm gonna be efficient here. I work with my mother. Sell fruits and vegetables. Great. It's fun most days. The hard work. Now I gotta battle with Sadia for the cooking spit. We need to try and make vegetable soup. Ooh, and arrows. That armor you got rid of. I can have it, yeah. First off, it's not armor, but yeah, take it. Mighty decent of you. Is he gonna grab it? Oh, I should have said no. That's one of my favorite dialogue options in the game. You've been a good friend to me. When, uh... Hey. What? What did I do? Uh, but if you tell them no, they're like, uh... That armor you dropped, can I have it? Yeah. And if you're like, no, you can't. It just immediately cuts to, well, what the hell did you drop it for? <laughs> it's, I love it. It just made, it's so stupid, but it's such a good line. Like, what the fuck, dude? Why did you drop it? What's the matter with you? Honestly, if you were going to be upset at me for saying no, why didn't you just take it? Why is the onus on me to provide you with the reason for why I don't want you to have it? It's my necklace. I don't know you any explanation. Ooh. I keep forgetting. We gotta get firewood so we can make arrows. Can food go stale? It does not expire. Game Boy with the Game Boy. Oh, man. Yeah, the Game Boy. I'm trying to remember the Game Boy we had. The big clunky one, kind of see-through, where, like, the Game Boy was, like, the size of a brick, and the screen was about yay big. It was very small. No colors. The Game Boy itself was transparent, which, can we bring back transparent technology? You guys remember transparent controllers, how fucking cool those were? It's so, I don't know, it's just cool. It's like, whoa. It makes you realize how wild of a creation that is, right? Like, how did we invent wires? Where did that, who, who, how did somebody melt down metal and then say, okay, if we surround it with rubber, we can then transmit invisible electronic signals that will send something from one thing to another thing. And then this thing is going to make this picture move and do this thing. Pfft. Engineering is fucking bonkers. It's craziness. 
I don't want to weigh myself down with too many arrows. But uh, transparent technology was kind of my first thing as a kid. Like, like an N64 controller, you could see all the guts that were in there. I don't claim to like, be the best blacksmith in life running. No idea how that works. Yeah, right. You a USB device. I'm, I literally, I'm in the process of just discovering elect electricity and electronics. No, I'm learning. Okay, this is my friends. This is what we call character development. I'm taking the cool exit. I'm designating this the cool exit. If you don't know about this exit from White Run, you're missing out. God might get nervous. This isn't what approaching is. This is what walking away is. And if you keep talking like that to people, everyone in your life is going to do it to you. That's including your wife and your children. These guys. Am I buying Red Zone now because they dropped the price for the fifth year in a row? NFL Red Zone, they dropped the price five years in a row? What? That's crazy. I'm in. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Pause. We now have a controversial moment. <clears throat> okay. Does this encounter right now does this count as a quest? Does the item I just received count as loot? Because if I can disenchant this, right, the item that I have, how do you think this plays into a run? Because this is just a random encounter. Do the fugitives ever come back for what they gave you? I believe so. No quest, drop it, keep it and kill the OG owner, keep it. It was forced on you, keep it. I say it's a quest item, return to the OG. I think I'm leaning towards returning it to the original owner. It's okay. There is no quest. It's basically a side quest. Will we ever get more Project Zomboid? I would love to play Project Zomboid in the future. There's a quest structure to this. You can turn the item over to a guard. <clears throat> so if I keep it, then I'm going to disenchant it, right? And when we talked about it earlier, we said the quest items that are enchanted, because enchantments are gonna be very hard to get, quest items can be disenchanted at, at, upon quest completion. This one is really writing a fine line. So yeah, essentially what I'm asking you all is if you think disenchanting this weapon, keeping it and disenchanting it goes against the Iron Man principles. Am I a true Iron Man? If I keep this and disenchant it, I never took this into account. A, a, a true Iron Man lives his life by honor. A true Iron Man... I've made up my mind, chat. Time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. You gave up on that fight really quickly, dude. Did you see someone run past just now? Uh, 
Thank you, kind sir. He's right there. He's right next to us. Of RPG Malaki. Have some more Bezos bucks. Zathar, <laughs> Zatharis, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I presume this hunting bow of embers belongs to you. I'm gonna give it back. It's the right thing to do. Yes. How did you get this? Uh, oh, never mind. Here, it's not much. Please be enchanted. I'm going to track Please be an enchanted ring. Murder him. I'll mount your head on my wall. Thank you, kind sir. Hold on, hold on. I'm in a really awkward position here. Fucking serious. I gotta save this guy. You all right, buddy? No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Doing the right thing is its own reward. One gold? No, uh-uh, no, no, I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. How the fu- how? How does that happen? I mean, I'm so happy that it did happen because it just, it, it just goes to show sometimes in these games, like the ridiculous shit that occurs. I have never in my life seen that. One gold. Insane. I mean, now that I killed him, I definitely can't loot it. So I guess I'll take the free deer hide. Uh, Mindless Games, thank you so much for the prime. Zathrus, thank you all as well for the prime. I very much appreciate it. That was a pretty legendary moment. I'm not gonna lie. Of, of all the crazy shit we've seen in this game, that's up there. A one gold reward. Wild. I would assume for random encounters like that, there's gotta be some table. I wanna know, I mean, is there? There's probably a random chosen number that goes from one to, let's say 250, Level dependent, it's probably leveled. So if I was level 10, the minimum was probably 100 gold. But because I'm level four, the minimum must have been one. And it's a dice roll. So I must have landed on the lowest percentage dice roll possible. It's always one gold. must have sold it to GameStop. <laughs> That's what we're calling him. That actually was a GameStop trade. If anybody has ever owned uh, any of like the Madden games or just any sports games in general, they always have a criminally bad return rate at GameSpot or GameStop because of uh, the fact that they're yearly releases, so they're always outdated. That's what it was. I really was not expecting that. Is it really one gold every time? That's a bit of a bummer. I was hoping that it was like, I just encountered some really low percentage. I don't even know. That was awesome though. 10 out of 10, wonderful. Let's give this bow a try. I wanna find some deer. Maybe we could work our way over to Falkreath. It's probably a good idea for us to make a way over to Falkreath. Use the UESP map, it will save you so much headache. In terms of ore locations, I kind of want to keep this natural though. Happen upon it. Fuck. Shoot. 
Bad, not a stealth archer. That was a good shot. Uh, <laughs> man, I love not being a stealth archer. Too high. Kill shot. Oh. Oh. Opening task manager, so you guys can see I'm not running any aimbot. Ooh. Now, to be fair, in the elk's defense, he wasn't running. But that actually is whew, it's gonna make me act up. Those kind of shots. I can loot my own arrows, right? Does that count it? Yeah. I should be able to take my arrows back. Whew. That was awesome. That was really nice. Where'd the other deer go? I lost him. That was the first one. Second one. Did I walk over him? I thought he was like right here. When I mean, it's not the end of the world if I can't find him. There's gonna be a lot more of them anyway. The premise of this challenge, uh, to keep it simple, is if we die, our game ends and we delete the character. We cannot use any vendors. All equipment and weapon upgrades must be crafted, so we cannot loot them from enemies. Those are just the basic uh, rules. We're playing on expert difficulty. I didn't want to do legendary again. Expert still provides enough challenge in close calls. A bit more sparse than on legendary or master. Treasure hunter. I'm close to finding the steel war axe of chills. I've tracked it down to Broken Fang Cave. It's apparently guarded by a master vampire. Okay, yeah, you guys remember when we did a Mad Libs quest? Right there. That's Mad Libs, baby. I'm gonna take that note. I am looking for the Blade of Lightning. It is over in Rock Barrow Cave, and it is guarded by a Atronach of Frost. No sneak? I'm sorry, let me correct myself. No sneak! Because I'm not a stealth archer. Is it possible to... Damn, I wish you could... I wish you could knock the arrow. Okay, three, two... Oh, 
that's hard to do. Right there. We want to hit the corner of that building. No, I keep, I keep... Detected by whom? Damn. Didn't count. Am I trying to 360 no? Absolutely. I mean, you guys saw the, uh, the Fallout point lookout video slash streams i hit a 360 in that that was unironically a 360 no scope oh british lizard thank you very much for watching those i love the landmine only run that's a ton of fun super challenging it is really grindy that's the only problem with it is trying to optimize the economy of the game to keep making landmines plus on survival and not having fast travel it's a little bit too much what was that oh come on ah it's so fun trying to shoot moving deer. <clears throat> Sup, God? Found me on the Skyrim randomized mod. Which, uh, which one? Species randomizer? Door randomizer? I don't know if you guys uh, also follow Doug Doug streams, but he was playing the door randomizer last week and this week too. Which was really awesome to see. It was really cool. Corundum, that's what I'm talking about. This is why I, I don't really want to have a map on where the ores are. It's really fun to just happen upon them. So it's pretty rewarding. Plus, I do want to... I want exploration to be a part of this a bit. Granted, we haven't really left this one field. Bear cave? Bear door? What do you mean? What about a bear in a door? I think with a map, yeah, it would feel really, really grindy. I'm just enjoying this. I, I kind of wanted to do this challenge because it's certainly going to have difficulty spikes and it's going to have some pretty dramatic mike can you fucking leave me alone okay it, it's going to have its dramatic spikes at times especially in skyrim some people may think expert is a bit underwhelming um but i'm telling you as soon if you're playing this game on a harder difficulty as soon as you start to feel a bit comfortable it flips the script on you and it wrecks you like what if i'm running around right now what if a saber cat jumped me right now what happens i'm screwed doug went through a door and got slaughtered by a oh i missed it is this going on your channel like die juve or regular juve it'll be on both wait Oh no! Wait, did he not complete the challenge? Did he- did he die at the end? Oh, he did. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I saw- I saw one of his deaths near the College of Winterhold and I was genuinely screaming at my monitor because the the lady who first tests you before you get to go to the college started attacking him and he didn't realize it and i was screaming all right i'm excited to see it 
I'll, I'll certainly make sure to watch the video if it's on his uh, main channel at some point. That was three, by the way, if anybody's still keeping track of butterfly kill count. Four. I'm going to run back and do some alchemy. I'm going to have to start throwing potions away. It's going to take up too much weight. Unless I just keep investing in stamina. It'll be on the main channel in about four months. Hey. You know. Well, think about it. How long did it take us to have the Solstheim run on the main channel? It was about four months. Three or four months. Could I do a GeoGuessr for Skyrim? We've done that on stream before. I kind of want to play again. I think I'll be better at it. I got pretty good at it when we last did. Although it does reuse a lot of the same locations. How are we doing on weight? 220 out of 235? We're getting up there. We're getting a bit hefty. Restore health. Nine? That's four and a half pounds. And almost no XP. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Alchemy is so hard to level up if you make the most useful potions in the game. What are we at for healing though? Health is increased, restore 26 points of health. Not terrible. Juve has a person that watches VOD more than Twitch. Am I still, I'm not sure what you mean. You're, you're cool. Regardless of how much, if you watch any of my channels in any capacity, I consider you pretty cool. You're tight. Some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. But before somebody on the VOD channel starts to lose their mind, VOD channel, I love you. What do I need? Can I make camping supplies? Yeah, let's get some camping supplies. That's probably going to be good just to hold on to. I also keep forgetting to transmute. Take care not to set fire. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to transmute as much ore as possible until we level up. And then I'm going to take an alteration perk. We have to take two alteration perks before it's a bit cheaper. So, I mean, we should probably just hang out for a little bit and take care of it. You fall asleep to me a lot. So, I've gotten that quite a bit that people fall asleep to the streams. And that's actually extremely helpful what are some future video ideas i'll give you guys one that i haven't started because of all the work that it's going to require but uh fallout 76 without leaving camp is one that i'm really excited to try Well, right. So, I mean, just sort of the way uh, the way YouTube works is if people fall asleep watching a live stream, it's a lot of watch time. Um, and it's it's just really helpful. Yeah, it's it, it really helps out. So, for example, the most recent video on my main channel is completely demonetized. Not not uh, of the fault of YouTube, completely my fault. Uh, I chose a couple of songs. I fell in love with them. I built a couple of really significant portions of that video with those songs. And it was just, I was not willing to compromise and rework those sections because I was like, it makes the video better. 
and I'm not reworking it. I'm going with it. So when stuff like that happens, it's incredibly helpful since this is now my career um, and how, how I hope to, you know, uh, live my life, right? Uh, it's incredibly helpful to have a second channel that is able to assist all of it. New, new channel strategy is to put people to sleep. What or who gave your channels the name Juve? All right, I'll do I'll do the lore explanation one more time. Um, but it originally was Juvenalia, J U V E N A L I A. Uh, there's a chance if you watch my channel a lot and you're ever scrolling YouTube Shorts, you might see an old video of me screaming while playing the forest, uh, and there'll be like a cheesy little Twitch overlay thing with my old username on it. A lot of people have seen that video. But, uh... Uh, the name Juvenalia was the name of my old garage band that I played guitar in in high school. Yeah, that's right. I know how to play guitar, because I'm cool. I'm not that great, though. I consider my skill level Campfire. Uh, so that was the name that I streamed on, under for a long time. And then... One day, a couple people that were on my Twitch stream, one of the four or five people that was watching my Twitch stream, uh, they used to shorten Juvenalia to Juve, J-U-V, and then one day somebody started spelling it J-O-O-V, and it just clicked, and I really liked it, and I stuck with it. Music stream when? I don't know, we're just going to stand here and transmute for a bit. It's unfortunately, it's super out of tune, sadly. It's supposed to be, um, hold on. My chair is kind of awkward too, cause like the arms of my chair are blocking it. Shit, I only have 3% battery on my phone. My phone counts as my charger or my tuner. Let's see, I have to do this mostly by ear though. Cause it's a drop tuning. D, F sharp, A, D. So, yeah, I am, I am right-handed, but my camera's flipped. Um, when I was in high school, I was really, really, yeah, and my, I need to get new strings. I'm not very good at changing them out. I haven't in a long time. So I was really obsessed with the band Mumford and Sons when I was in high school and I learned like their entire catalog. Not as big of a fan anymore, but their songs are super fun to play. And like Oh, is that one out of tune? 
Hold on. I think I'm still fucking up the tuning. Now this is starting to piss me off. And I'm nervous, there's a lot of you. I think that sounds right. I mean, it's not great tuning. the whole song. Yeah, I'm not very good anymore, but if I like practice for a week or so, I can get a few other songs down. They're pretty easy songs i'm sure anybody i'm sure anybody in chat who has like actually played guitar or learned guitar heard me right there and was like oh that was awful that was really bad that was back when they were good yeah their newest album was really bad Watch out, Skyrim, there's a new bard in town. I just realized, I just realized that Mikhail was playing his flute and interrupting me the whole time. They had a new album, like, I can't even remember. But I did, like, I learned so many of their songs. I wonder if there's no way there's no way that actually gets claimed, right? How much ore do you need to transmute quite a bit? It'll be decent for our alteration too. What kind of music do you usually listen to? So right. So like when I was super into Mumford and Sons when I was growing up, uh, I was like, I don't know, I was kind of like really pricky about my music taste and I was like, oh, they don't play instruments? That's not a real music group. But as I've gotten older, I really like everything from like classic rock to Kendri Kendrick Lamar. I, I like pretty much everything to just like instrumental stuff or like synth wave or you know, electronic music. Uh, it's really hard to pinpoint it. I mean, my favorite band personally is Cage the Elephant, even though they haven't done a ton of work lately and their last album was a little disappointing. But that's like the one band that I've liked my whole life that, what is she doing? I thought she was sweeping with the thing upside down like Homer Simpson. But especially for, since I started making videos and making music a huge part of my videos, I've been like not picky at all when it comes to music. Like I can hear a throwback Katy Perry song if I'm, you know, out having a beer with somebody and be like, hmm, you know, like I'll, <laughs> like I'll start jamming to whatever. I like pretty much everything. I will say what I, the only music I really don't like is like death metal, you know, music with screaming and stuff like that. It's just never, I've never understood. 
It's just never clicked for me. Don't say death metal. Or like black metal. Um, yeah, it's just, it's never been my thing. But then I could listen to something like, you know, Metallica or the Doom soundtrack and like, oh yeah, this is awesome. You know, that's like, in terms of real heavy stuff, I love that. But the, uh, you know, uh, what was it called? I had a friend when I was in sixth grade who got super into, like, he was trying to pig squeal, I think it's called. It sounded, I, I can't even do it. Um, but his band that he was super into was Job for a Cowboy. That was the name of the band. And, like, he was showing me their songs and their music videos and trying to get me into it. And I had just discovered Nirvana at the time. So, like, Lithium was about as heavy as I would get. What about 2000s punk rock? Uh, guilty Pleasure. Any kind of corny-ass music from the early 2000s, late 90s punk rock scene that you might see played in, like, an American Pie movie during a college party, like, scene. Total guilty pleasure. 100%. Kanadris, thank you very much for the Prime. Katy Perry is good for real. Hell yeah, Jude. Also, Mick Master, thank you very much for the Prime. I missed that. Did I miss any other alerts? Let me check real quick. No. Okay. I didn't. All right, sweet. Are you here for that Warped Tour soundtrack? Are Panic at the Disco and Fall Out Boy still making music? Shine Down. I feel like Shine Down is a band. I couldn't name any other songs off the top of my head. Oh, I also forgot to say, I think Audio Slave is also in my top five. I, I think Chris Cornell is the best male vocalist of all time. That's my hot take. I don't really even think that's that hot of a take. Rest in peace. It's yours for um, I, I don't think there's a single audio slave song I, I don't enjoy. I think they're so fucking good. I would probably, I would probably say I like them more than Cage the Elephant. But I do love both of those bands very much. Obviously, of course, I like Soundgarden as well. But not as much as audio slave. I'm gonna go stamina again. I wanna keep buffing my carry weight. Chanting. Sorry, I'm all distracted. Alterate. God, we have to get to level 25 alteration. I should have invested in magic. Should have invested in Magicka. What's the longest stream I've ever done? About five and a half hours. Audio Slave, Soundgarden, Radiohead, and Red Hot Chili Peppers are your favorites. I like all four of those. Which band is the most overrated? I'm not sure. Oh, Foo Fighters are up there for me as well. Really like Foo Fighters. And it seems like they always, every now and then, have, like, an amazing, like, just out of nowhere, like, uh, they were still going really strong in, like, 2014. They were, they, they were going pretty strong for a while. Guns N' Roses, my uncle loves Guns N' Roses. Coldplay, most overrated. That's not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick for overrated. Um, I don't know. It's, it's probably somebody who's like, it's probably, um, honestly, it's probably a mumble rapper. Um, but I don't know too many of them. Beggar. 
but there are a lot of rappers who are uh, pretty ass that get really, really popular. But I'm not, you know, not judging, of course, if you're a fan of some of them. Everyone's got their own taste. Tame Impala. I've never actually been a huge Tame Impala fan, but they have had some awesome tracks. Sorry, sorry. Tame Impala is just one person, right? I said they. Somebody's probably going to correct me. Although, no, they could still work. Oh, Nickelback is a guilty pleasure for me, too. Island Boys? Island Boys is a good pick for overrated, but I don't know if people really pay too much attention to the Island Boys. If it's work you're looking for, to white run from all this the right stead. And the braggart did swear as she's plain as he told of both battles in gold. Hot take most overrated song ever is Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh I think that's certainly a hot take. Yeah, I think that's kind of a crazy take. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our meat. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. So then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave last Matilda You have an idea for the next challenge? Fallout 4, but only dog meat can kill loot. So have you have to do everything with dog meat? That could be fun, but also really painful. What are you going to do with the gold? We're gonna we're gonna make gold jewelry. Let's check how much we have. We can make eight gold ingots. It's good enough for now. Yeah, I don't think the Beatles are overrated. I actually really enjoy a lot of their songs, like uh, quite a few, to be honest. I mean, you could, though, get away with saying overrated because a lot of people just automatically assume like, oh, they're the greatest of all time. So yeah, I mean, maybe that's not a crazy take. We need to find some gems. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your Letter from the Jarl? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What? Oh. I always forget the Rising Dead anniversary quest is the first one. We're just going to pick whichever armor looks coolest. I'm switching to heavy armor, though. The backpack gives us enough carry weight to go heavy armor. Okay. Banded iron armor, heavy iron arm. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Iron plate, iron plate armor does look cool. I mean, I don't like the look with the hide helmet. Not a fan of it. Can I make the iron plate helmet or did I run out of stuff? Da -da. Oh, we just need leather. Yeah, I'll go with the iron plate armor. I think it looks cool. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. 
More inside. Silver looks the coolest. You tried Fallout New Vegas, but you... Oh, oh, oh hey, careful. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you want to say that too loudly. I appreciate the honesty, though. Is there silver armor somewhere in here that I'm completely missing? Or did you mean steel? I just think New Vegas still plays great. Like I said, I, I, I put quite a uh, good amount of time, and this was on console as well. I don't claim Played awesome. Okay, now we need some gauntlets. All I ask is a fair Sorry, my crafting right now is in bad form, chat. I just need one iron ingot. I got really, really distracted there, though, with our conversation about music. I got to get back to the task at hand. All right. Smithing to 28. We're almost level 5. We're making some progress. The Brawler's Gauntlets are just the coolest by far. So we're keeping them. There's a mine with 40 plus gold. Kolsager mine. You play Red... Have I played Red Dead Redemption 2 yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's usually whenever people ask me what the greatest game of all time is, I say Red Dead Redemption 2 because it's aside from the fact that I just genuinely think it's the best story ever told in a game, as well as just like everything else about it being an amazing game. The fact that that game was able to run on eighth gen consoles without turning each one of them into an explosive device is probably one of the greatest technical achievements ever in a game. Like, how the fuck does Red Dead Redemption 2 run on a out-of-the-box day one Xbox One and not implode the system? How? How does it run on a PS4 without it firing off into the sky at a speed that would break the sound barrier? It's great, but I wish it had a hard mode or something. I could agree with that. Yeah, something to make the uh, gunfights a bit more challenging. Which, if they actually supported their hundred plus million copy selling fucking game post launch, like, I don't know, with a next gen console FPS, bo FPS boost? Hmm? Or actually using the potential of that world for their online mode and making it not shit? I don't know. Hmm? Instead, no, they dangle the carrot out in front of Red Dead Online for six years and then told the game to fuck off. Thanks, Rockstar. Like, <laughs> way to make Fallout 76's live service look awesome, you idiot. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. It's literally so e like, I don't know. Don't get me started on Red Dead Online. I don't think I've ever felt so strung along with a, a, an online game. So frustrating. Right, it's because they had to just keep forcing content into GTA 5.
Ah, uh, that was a bad shot. Did I overshoot? Oh, that was a good shot. Come on, give me it. Woo! Ankles. Hmm. No. Am I too low? I've got high ground on him, so I don't have to aim much higher. Really? No, I'm not wrong. The game is wrong. Not a stealth archer. I can't really see the arrow, but this one is perplexing me. You, don't move. I said, don't move. You will now die. <laughs> you will now die for disobeying my orders. Thank you, Lord Baby Jesus, for this bountiful banquet. Amen. Oh, look, another one. Hello, the power of Christ compels you. Okay, no way I was going to get that one. Need to start rocking some alchemy. We have, we haven't done alchemy in terms of getting really expensive potions, which is where it really starts to level up a lot. Because the basic ones, Restore Stamina, Health, Magicka, they're very useful. They're great utility potions, but they don't actually level up the skill fast. I think I'm just... I think I'm washed up. It's not that high. It's... no. Thank you, kind sir. Really? It's been four to five days since a VOD video. It has been actually a week. I didn't upload the first VOD of this challenge, the practice one, or I did upload it. I just got stuck on the thumbnail and I didn't want to upload the practice VOD because I knew I wouldn't stream for a while trying to finish up in a really good amount of time. The most recent video, Dustman's Cairn. I haven't really gotten myself in much danger. Skeletons are weak to flames. If you had a community Skyrim together avoid, would I join? One million percent. Yeah, in a heartbeat. That would be so much fun. I would love to. Could we do something crazy where we're all on? Whoa, damage. Uh, somebody asked if the mace is anniversary edition. No, it's beyond Skyrim Baruma. Restless can do decent damage. You might have a frost spell as well, so we'll take a resist magic potion. It's only 5%, but maybe it saves us. He does have magic. It's in his left hand right now. Told you. Okay, we missed.
Whoa! Nice! Actually got a spell. About damn time. Maybe we will use Conjuration. I'm actually okay with using Conjuration if Ray's Zombie is the one we can actually use. Okay, 12 lockpicks. I can do this. There we go. <laughs> you son of a... You know, the only good thing about a master lock, though, is... The sweet spot is so small that once you find it, you don't have to move much further from where you're at. Got it. There we go. Spell Tome Flames. Fortunately, I can't relearn the same spell. Is there anybody keeping track of the butterfly kill count at this point? It's probably really high. Zakaeth, did I say that properly? Thank you so much for watching the channel. And thank you for stopping by. What's my favorite NFL team? Chicago Bears. I am constantly in pain. And it's miserable. But um, I, yeah, I've got pretty high hopes. You know, they're... You know, they, they play hard. They're grinders. You know, it just didn't really work out last year. It's all right. We'll come back, though. I'm a believer. Tired of all the haters. Baltimore on top? Hey! Uh, Ravens fans and Bears fans can... Uh, be friends because all anybody does is call our quarterbacks running backs oh here we go here we go let's uh, lock in we got a saber cat this is not good saber cat kind of kicks ass all right this is a real problem here ray zombie's too expensive for me to use effectively can we keep our distance from the saber cat and just play around on the rocks he doesn't look too intelligent Ooh, that was quick. Are there two saber cats? Shit. Okay, maybe we should run, but I can't. There's two. No, it's a wolf. Okay, let's see. This might not be a bad idea. He's probably stuck on this rock, acting all awkward and weird. No, he went down? Where's the wolf? There he is. Okay, wolf might aggro. No stumble. We got another stumble. That's good. Okay, big hit. Fuck, how is he not stumbling? That's right, you mother- <laughs> I'm gonna micromanage you to death! And that, my friends, is why we take our time and we invest in potions. It's like throwing a bunch of, uh, I don't know, frontline soldiers out there, cannon fodder. Let them take the brunt of the damage. Eat a nice meal. Read a good book. And find a chest.
Never seen Skyrim played turn-based. He was your fantasy quarterback. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. Oh, nice. We actually found a soul gem. Did I steal its tooth as a trophy of my triumph? I stole it and I'm going to eat it now. So that all other, whatever they're called, saber cats will fear me. Where's this? Mmm. Mmm. I'll eat both of them. I don't care. No, we don't want goat hide. Whoa. Okay, jackpot. Relax. I really need all of that? It's quite a lot. I don't need to go hunting anymore. I have a stupid amount of hide. We don't, we don't like goat hide. It's a waste. Am I the Catholic Skyrim rep? I don't know if I would give myself that kind of title. No, I'm... I'm a representative of me. What's wrong with the goat hide? I think it takes two goat hide and it only returns one leather. Nope, not far enough. Nope. I thought that was going to hit. Did we get the expert chest with the enchanted armor behind the skeleton graveyard? Um, I got the chest, but we can't take uh, enchanted armor out of a chest per the challenge rules. I think I'm going to head to Falkreath. I can only carry six more pounds. We're going to get a lot of smithing XP, though, next time we go to the forge. Probably got like 40 or 50 worth of leather on me. Oh my gosh, I am going the... I thought I was here for some reason. I am not even close to Falkreath. We're going back to Whiterun. What are my thoughts on a Syringer-only Fallout run? Um, I... I'm not as big of a fan of just like a one weapon run because like a run well I guess I'm not against it I, I, I have a lot of people who suggest videos to me and they're like uh, you know can you beat Fallout 3 only using this can you beat Fallout 4 only using this and I go you know you know you know, Nurbit does a great job of those videos. Like, he does, he does a fantastic job with those videos. Um, and that's just kind of his style and his thing. I don't really like beating the main game. Like, the main story of these games, we've all done it. I've done it a bunch. I'm not really interested in doing it much anymore, you know, in terms of, like, a final goal for a video. I like to just come up with our own shit and make up an objective, whatever it is. I am waiting for a good death. Don't care. You want to hang out at my camp? You're more than welcome to. But I'm building a camp here. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. 
can you play Fallout New Vegas with the set controls and keyboard and mouse? What do you mean the set controls? Uh, no, the camping supplies are anniversary. Naturally, if you put it in a weird spot, the fire gets all goofy looking. I just needed to get it out of my inventory, though. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can Am I going to do Kingdom Come Deliverance region lock? At some point, yeah. Definitely at some point. Celebrity Crush? Um... Blake Lively? Uh... She's up there for sure. Uh, Katy Perry, definitely on there. Uh, <laughs> first stream after watching your YouTube for a year. Diamond, thank you for watching for the last year. And thank you for stopping by. What the fuck is that? I, I, okay, I'm sorry. What did the mud crabs eat between Elder Scrolls 4 and Elder Scrolls 5? Because that is a ridiculous amount of- that's like as much damage as the saber cat can deal. I'll take the healing XP. You- you like the controls they give you without changing any? Oh, wait, am I supposed to change the controls in Fallout 3? Because I think the game plays fine. On uh, keyboard and mouse, at least. Northern mud crabs, they're made of sterner stuff. You, yeah, that does make sense. They're pretty scrawny and skinny in... Thank you, kind sir. Oblivion. And in Morrowind, they're just kind of a skeleton with a pile of mud on top of... Like, they're actually made out of mud in Morrowind. In Oblivion, they're just crabs. And in Skyrim, they're like hardened veterans. Like, they're tired of everyone's shit. They're really sick of just like... Everyone fucking with them. Always being the butt of a joke. They're done. They went through a training arc. Skyrim with only horse combat? I have thought of doing that. I've thought of it. It hasn't like I haven't been like excited enough about it to give it a try and do a few streams with it. But it should be fun. It it would be really hard though. Because the horse combat's super finicky. Got some good pieces out here for looking. More inside. If I was over numbered before, I... Okay, two. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Nineteen, twenty-one. Why does it have to be on an odd number? Twenty-three, twenty-five. 29, 33, 37, 41, 45. So we got a lot of leather. Let's make all these and toss them. Fallout 3 without leaving Rivet City. I did think of doing Rivet City at one point, but uh, I, Rivet City is really boring. There's really not a lot there. So if we do Fallout 3, we will most likely do the downtown DC area. I think that would be the most fun. All right, that was some good smithing XP. Use your level up. We're going to level up right now. Or actually, what time is it? 340? Let me check my ingredients. 
32 of them. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's go get some blue mountain flowers. There's still a ton in town. Am I out of... Oh my god, I only have two. Yeah, we gotta get more blue mountain. And lavender. Check around town real quick, because... I want to make a good amount of potions here. Hey, look at us go, though. We have over a thousand gold. I'm feeling a bit more comfortable about diving into a dungeon or, you know, taking on some difficult enemies. Let's load up on potions one more time and we should be in a decent spot. I'm I love love I gave you one gold Do you know how mad I was when somebody gave me one gold? That's not criteria to be your dad. What? Will you be my father? Whoa! Kid! I saw a broke kid on the street and gave you a buck. Doesn't mean I want to be your dad. I did the absolute bare minimum. I mean, that's like the lowest bar. Why is Heimskir still alive? Um, you guys don't like Heimskir? Cringe? Cr cringe moment? Not Pog. Have you played Valheim? It would be really fun to make your type of challenge videos in. Uh, it would, and I have quite a bit of Valheim. Um, I haven't gotten through the swamps biome. The swamps is such a big difficulty spike. It, it takes a lot. It, the, the grind of Valheim is real, especially if you're if you're solo. It is insane. It's an amazing game, though. I'm not going to be able to carry that many resist magic potions at 5%. Man, look at this. Look, what am I carrying? Resist magic 5%. I got 29 of them. No. I only need like 10. Here. I can't sell them to you, so I'll just put them on your... Shelf. Don't worry, I have a lot of practice doing this. I'm very experienced at it. If I gave you one gold, can I adopt you? Yes. No! She acts like you're Ty Pennington or something. <laughs> okay, that's totally happened, though. On an older episode of Extreme Makeover Home Edition, 100%, it's for sure happened that, you know... After they built the house and Ty's showing them around, one of the kids was like, Ty, will, will you be my new dad? I don't, I don't like this family. They had to go through a whole TV show to get their house built. Ty, I want you to be my dad. One time had to have happened. Who is the main character today? The main character is John Bernthal too. He just seems like a gritty guy, you know? Don't, I'm not lollygagging. God, you see what they accuse me of out here? These people fucking suck. Whatever, let's go do Bleak Falls Barrow. What's going on? Dan, uh, what's going on is... Well, currently I'm interrupting a big meeting. Who's this then? As House Carl, my job is to deal. You know about Helgen? The Yar will want to speak to you personally. Approach. I kind of want to do this so I could get the Axe of White Run so and finally disenchant something. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Right. 
Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is... Quest rewards are fair game for disenchantment, but not for equipment. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Provenza? When you're very clearly dilly-dallying. Does anybody ever remember Nox's corner? We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate... Because whenever somebody brings up dilly-dallying, I always think of uh, the dilly-dally ghost. I don't remember any of the lines from this video or the context of it. I just remember one of the dumb characters. They were claymation videos where they had these little clay figures, you know, and they would always get involved in really stupid shenanigans. And um, I remember getting in trouble because, you know, the Internet was very new back in these days. And... Come. Let's go find my friend and I at the time we were nine or ten and we were watching these videos of these claymation figures you know they would say naughty words like shit and ass um and we would just like giggle and laugh at them and I remember getting in trouble because the internet was so new and my dad's like what are you guys doing on the computer what 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 are you you realize there are predators on the internet and there's always some drama like that, but whenever somebody says the term dilly dally, I always think of it. What do we get? Steel armor? Useless. Does the Thieves Guild armor count as a quest reward? Yeah. Yeah. I would think so. Come to Dragon's Reach. Well, when I say straight to the point, I uh, go to Bleak Falls Barrow. An old ah, maybe I'm sure some yeah, I, I don't think you can disenchant it either. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? This is a priority. I have my now. sources. Anything we like. Is the fight is dragon. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Oh, I thought that was the disenchant menu. You seem to have found me an able You can I was, okay, that's what it was. You can do the boots, but I don't think you can do the others. You might be able to do the gloves as well for lockpick. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, the damage that uh, To Catch Your Predator did to parents' brains in the early 2000s was... It, it, it took a long time for that to be reversed. Like, my parents at the time were convinced that the only things you could use the internet for were MapQuest to search for direction somewhere, and, like people trying to rape other people like those were the two options like that's what the internet existed for now there are still fucked up people all over the internet that shit still happens and it is beyond fucked uh and it is wild now that people still try to engage in like wild ass behavior um given like how easy it is to get caught now like but like there there are absolutely dangers on the internet for sure and back then there were way more i mean shit there's still a lot now you got scams and i mean the day the internet will always be just a, a void of endless hell um but we got in trouble because we watched clay guys explode. <laughs> like, that's what we got in trouble for. Yeah, does anybody remember printing out the driving directions on, uh, like, MapQuest or Google Maps? Because you couldn't have them on a phone, so we would always go on our family vacation. We'd have to print it out. Okay, in this many miles, we're going to turn on this highway. It's a slight right turn. I... I can't believe people used maps to get around. You learned so much from me punching someone in the face. Well, I'm glad you could learn 
that sometimes solving problems with your fists, it's not a, not a bad deal. Do I not post on TikTok anymore? Uh, very rarely. Every now and then I'll post on TikTok. I know the, uh, do you guys remember from Fallout New Vegas without leaving New Vegas? Um, do you remember the one bit where I just dubbed over Benny's voice? What did I say? Hope this interaction doesn't lead to any kind of fallout between us. Fallout New Vegas. And then he pulls the trigger. It's been reposted so many times that a couple weeks ago I saw it on TikTok when I was scrolling. But it's been reposted so many times, the quality of it, it's like 360p. Really wasn't expecting it to be shared as many times as it has been. Um, but I don't really care if people share it on TikTok. Like, if people take clips from my videos and share them. Honestly, I don't even give a shit if people don't, like, credit me. I kind of got over that. Like, if people want to repost it because they think it's funny, go ahead. Um, but I remember... I forgot what it was for that one. But I, like, stitched it. And I just made a comment about how... It's wild. I really didn't expect as many people to enjoy that dumb little bit. It was kind of a throwaway joke. So I'm, I'll, I'll every now and then make a TikTok like that. Or, oh, I remember. So when I made that New Vegas video, I actually did take a few clips from it and post it on TikTok just for shits and giggles to see what would happen and that exact clip when i saw it on another account it had a, a, a bunch of hits or whatever but i had originally posted it on my account that exact clip but i i left in the dialogue that leads up to the clip instead of just the clip itself so my video bombed on my end it bombed but like everyone that's reposted it, it's gotten a ton of hits on TikTok, which I don't really care about. I thought I just thought that like the circumstance was funny because it was like that just is kind of what like like that's why short form content is so hard or like vertical content is hard. Like I just didn't know that including the dialogue that led up to the joke would like make it bomb. That's a lot more damage than I expected. Might run down to river. Oh, no, no. We'll be warm. We'll get inside soon. Oh, whoa. Isn't there still a bandit boss in this tower? Usually the bandit iron shield comes from a bandit boss. Salt. Tons of salt. Actually, yeah, there's a big fight leading into Bleak Falls. I'm gonna run down to Riverwood, warm up, craft myself camp uh craft myself camping supplies. And then probably build a fire somewhere up here, just so I can have it. Less is always more, you're right. Especially when it comes to those kinds of videos. You were watching Species Randomizer and I didn't know what Ice Wraith was? Hey, that was a while ago. I have familiarized myself much better now. When I had started making content on these games, it had actually been a really, really long time since I'd actively played them. 
So in a way, it was kind of like I was learning everything again from scratch. Which I think has made... You know... Making the videos a lot more fun. Because I am always learning new things. And people are always helping me learn new things. I have... No, we use the camping supplies. We used, um... It should be a map marker right here. Whew, usually whenever I correct Twitch chat, I'm wrong. How lore pilled am I on Elder Scrolls? I'm not as good as I would like to be. Especially because whenever I play Elder Scrolls online, I just click through things really quickly. Because when I play Elder Scrolls online, I just like clearing off the map. Like a checklist. But I have... I know a lot more now than I did two years ago. Like a lot more. Although, if you start getting into, like, the Tribunal and the Houses of Morrowind, uh, and, like, uh, uh, what is it, Vivek's Lessons? I kind of start to fall apart. That's the coolest thing about ESO uh, instructor is it's just cool to explore a full like Tamriel. It's really cool. I think it should. I mean, it would it's probably impossible just because games are incredibly complicated and it is a massive game. But it would be really cool if it was able to soft relaunch and modernize itself a little bit. That would be really, really cool. What's the time where I where I live right now? It is 525 PM. You sometimes wonder how many times you've rewatched the Bruma video? Well, I appreciate it if you have rewatched it. That one was That was a lot of work. That video is like probably the most bit heavy video. Like, if you think of the most recent video on the channel, that's the lowest percentage of narration in any of my videos in a long time, where the Bruma video is really heavy on bits and skits and just a, a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot of work. It was really, really fun, though. Especially the help stop maneuver. I still think the help stop maneuver in the Bruma video is the best thing I've ever made. Or it's, it's up there. I wish it was longer. It's 12.25 in Hungary. Where is, let, let's, let's do this game. We haven't done this game in a while. Um, if you're in America, let me know what region you're in east coast west coast midwest south but if you're not in america let us know what country you're in ireland midwest east coast southwest norway canada couple of irelands belgium mid texas my brother is down in texas i've been down there a few times Croatia, congratulations on your World Cup win uh, a couple of years ago, I believe. Didn't Croatia win the World Cup or did they go to the finals? Kind, Either way. South. South Fab Fam, thank you very much for the tier one. Let me not die here while engaging with my chat. I'm having a wholesome moment. UK, Kentucky. Another Canada. Antarctica. I don't believe you, Austin. Alaskan time zone? So you're three hours behind me right now. It's about 2 p.m. where you're at. My editor, Isaac. 
He's in Alaska, Wyoming, France, South Carolina, Portugal, Las Vegas. I went to Las Vegas for the first time not too long ago. It was, uh, it was interesting. It was a little off the rails, but an absolutely really fun time. Philly? Never been to Philly. I'm not a very traveled person. I've, I've talked about it a few times, but my experience with travel is as lame as it gets. Um, the only time I've ever left the country was on a cruise ship. A cruise. We have a couple of Iowans. Go Hawks! How about them Lady Hawks? What a run. Germany? Mars? That'd be cool. See, those, I mean, those are just two basic bandits, and they still hit me pretty hard. I got through the fight pretty easily. I'm, I'm dealing decent damage, but still a little bit uncomfortable with how much damage enemies are doing. At least I have my crutch of all my potions. Those will keep me alive. Nobody said Brohio. I've never heard Ohio called Brohio. I really would like to go to Ireland. Let's see if we can fight this bandit outlaw. He's going to be a bit buffed. This is a good little challenge for us. Let's test our strength. Two hits, then a power attack. He's not doing very much damage. Did something happen with his health there? One, two, two. The golden claw password is two, two, two. That's two pickpocket books now. I can't get too cocky. What does Ataxia do? Ataxia. I'm drained. We got to sleep. Peckish stamina's down. Reduced lockpick and pickpocket. Okay. A taxi is not very bad. The spider up here is going to be a tough fight. It always is. Turn-based Elder Scrolls when? I keep saying that an Elder Scrolls CRPG made by uh, Larian Studios, the people who do Divinity Original Sin, would probably be the greatest game of all time. A, a, a party-based CRPG, just like Divinity. Ooh, he's doing a lot of damage. That's a ton. Skuma, save me! Oh, I 
freaked out. I thought I heard something behind me. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Nice try, Arvel. We just did this. Or like not long ago, I was just editing a scene where we're in this dungeon. Let's try and get through this fight before Berserker runs out. Am I out of stamina potions? No, we have two, we have four more. Potion of haggling? That's useless. See? Look at that damage, and I have Berserker still active. I gotta go to sleep. My attacks are really slowing down. This is becoming a problem. Tier two, Draugr. I was not ready for that. Really? Nice little victory there. You you can finish your animation anytime there, sir. Should be a bedroll upstairs. Back where I came from. The troll at High Hrothgar? Nah, I'll be ready for him. I'm not too afraid of him. You're actually right. I should. I'm gonna run upstairs and nap. Grab a bite to eat. Because the last dragger before we get to the end of the dungeon might be a bit tough. Does this door open? I don't... Wait, I swear I saw a video about a fun fact regarding the E3 version, because if you go to the console command, you type in help E3. Um, or actually let's type help bleak falls one word okay so you see how there's a cell here cell e3 demo bleak falls barrow right the e3 locations of this dungeon are slightly different than the launch versions and i want to say that that door opened or opens in the e3 version of this map Can you add the rip bozo emote in case you get killed by a rain? Is that a 7TB? I also need to remember the lockpick emote. I need to write that down. It's under my face. You don't... Oh, shit. Totally forgot. downloaded the broom mod and gave it a try i'm glad you gave it a try more people to try it out the better did not realize we had a level up two three holy crap okay why did i not see any of that coming now we'll go magic Smithing, what do we got here? Dwarven armor, elven armor. I'm not gonna be finding a lot of loot right now pertinent to those crafting styles yet. Let's take a heavy armor buff. K 
can't take the next alchemy perk yet. Yeah, I might as well take a one-handed buff. We could take two, but I'm going to save my perk point. They had to split up a bunch of maps. And, oh, yeah. No doubt. And it, it still did not run very well, well on uh, PS3. Now satisfied. We want to go for well-fed. I think well-fed comes with a buff, no? Yeah, re stamina regens faster. Try a randomizer. We've done uh, we've done a good amount of the uh, randomizers. They are always fun. They're always a good time. Unless you were talking to somebody in chat. How goes the grind? We're doing pretty well. It hasn't been very stressful. It's hard for it's hard to find the right balance. Like part of me wishes. That when we were fighting just low level bandits I could be on master or legendary difficulty because I, I don't think we'd have too much difficulty with them but then at the same time if I was playing on master or legendary a tier 2 dragger would rip my head off immediately and progress in terms of this grind would be halted it wouldn't be as fun because I would be very sad if we died like, if I died before getting out of Bleak Falls Barrow, there definitely have not been enough awesome or funny moments worthy of putting together a full video. But that's the nature of this challenge. Because it's a bit, a bit slower of a grind. No, 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 no. I'm upset. I should not be letting that trap hit me. Can't have that. That's just, that's a rookie mistake. That kill animation with this club looks great. You need 10 points for an emote? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works, to be honest. Yeah, so the, the goal is to build a house. Although I would like to kill a dragon priest. Or all the dragon priests. I don't know. I think in order to kill all the dragon priests, though, you have to get deep into a lot of different quest lines. I think a lot of the dragon priests are quest locked. It's basically only crafted items. Yes. In terms of the equipment we can use, it's all crafted. And survival expert, not legendary. We'll save legendary for Solstheim. Does Skyrim melee combat always feel like just spam clicking? On lower difficulties, yeah. But when you play on higher difficulties, you start thinking about things like, like, a, like Draugr's have a weakness to fire. 
That's just like a little thing, but it does certainly add up in tougher fights. Um, it also helps when you're on higher difficulties, understanding the enemy's attack patterns. They are very samey and formulaic, but so are Dark Souls enemies. It's just about learning and timing how you dodge them and, you know, miss them. I think it makes the combat sandbox much more engaging and fun on a higher difficulty. Where if you're playing on novice or I think any of the difficulties up to adept, adept is the first one where it's like, okay, you know, a tough enemy, if they catch you off guard, will mess you up, but not very many. Where I think once you hit expert, expert, master, and legendary, then it's like, oh shit, unless you're really prepared. Like if this guy got a really nice power attack hit on me, boom, look at that. That's like a quarter of my health. That wasn't a power attack either. Ooh, that was. Okay, all right, see? And <laughs> now we're already, now we're burning into our potions. I don't know how neither of those make him stumble. War of attrition though, we win the fight. Excuse me, is it the Ataxia? Turkey Stick, you miss him so much, I do too. I do too, but Turkey Stick will be back. You play mostly story-based games on easy because you suck at combat, that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. So I take it you never beat Elden Ring? That's a, oof. That one gave me a headache quite a few times. And we've talked about it on stream before. Yeah, a lot of people are like, it's the easiest Souls game. Man, it's still hard. <laughs> it's still pretty tough. Such a fun world to explore, though. They did a really great job with it. So unique and just like, like a painting. Two, two, two. There we go. Holy shit, it's Juve. It is. It is I. Would the Atronach Forge be permitted? What is the Atronach Forge again? I'm actually not familiar with it. Okay, he's got an enchanted sword. We'll go resist magic. Oh my lord, did it really do that much damage? There's no way just a shout hits us that hard. What the hell is a sword gonna do? Oh, not as much as I thought it would. I thought that would kick my ass. Okay, no, <laughs> easy. Ooh, thought that was gonna be really bad. Take the dragon stone and get on out of here. 
Blacksmith's potion, we love that. Skyrim feels so weird without music. I I apologize. I need to um and I and I really do want to look into some sort of solution where I can record because I have to record without music because music is such a big part of my videos. Having music on the stream or in the game makes editing around it nearly impossible. But that's a that's a big thing that I really want to figure out in the next couple of months is being able to separate the recording and the stream a little bit because right now the recording is basically just the stream without chat or without me sitting here under the midden okay don't hate me don't hate me chat i know this is my job and i now technically play this game professionally but what is the midden under the college Okay, all right. Now my next question is, what does the Atronac Forge do? How many hours do you have in Skyrim? Hard to put them all together. Steam tells me on special edition I have like 400-ish hours. Not as many as you would think. You can craft Daedric gear with it. Ah, okay, okay. Now my next question is, what is the College of Winterhold? Let's you have Daedric stuff without some, ah, okay. Are you the same old orc? Dude, we just, I am waiting for a good death. how many times am I gonna run into you? It's like the third time. It's only the second time. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So now, my next question is, what is Winterhold? Winterhold? Oh, it's a town in Skyrim, okay. What's Skyrim? <laughs> it's a province of Tamriel in the Elder Scrolls universe. You're not helping. What is Tamriel? What is the Elder Scrolls? What is all this nonsense you speak of, chat? Also, let me check. I'm so sorry. I've been really bad with alerts today. Sage Poggies? I know I missed that. Thank you so much for the Prime. That was 46 minutes ago, and I'm very sorry I missed it. Makes it lets you make tomes, scrolls, Atronax. After the Conjuration Master Quest, you can create Enchanted Daedric Gear. You know what the problem is? Because of the nature of the challenges that we do in this game, we never really get to the end game. We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. Okay, while we're here, let's get some smithing XP. I think we're making great progress, though on our smithing. Don't have very many ingots. Let's just stick with transmute. I own the lumber mill and pay fair wage. See my husband farm. I think thistle is is it resist magic? So it's it's frost, isn't it? Yeah, resist frost. Well, when I say end game, I mean like you know, like you guys are saying, the Atronach Forge, right? I think you have to complete the College of Winterhold questline to get that, or 
uh, you know, the quest in the uh, Dark Brotherhood where you have to kill the literal emperor. Just assassinate the emperor. Which I just saw a YouTube short yesterday or two days ago. Did you guys know that when the emperor spawns in for that mission and his boat is there, there's a sword on the very far tip of the boat stabbed in. It's a unique sword and it like has a crazy ability where it's constantly making your enemies stumble and ragdoll. Dark Brotherhood, we're getting jumped. I'm not, I'm so not scared. I'm just gonna create gold in front of them. That's how ready I am to beat his ass. Her ass. Sorry, ma'am. I'll be very respectful as I murder you. Actually, this is self-defense. As instructed, you are to eliminate John Bernthal too by any means necessary. Okay, Astrid. You found that sword in your first playthrough? I've never had no clue. But apparently it disappears, right? Because doesn't the boat go away? Wind shear, that's the name of it. I gotta find some blue mountain flower. Any side quests that I want to do this run. So we're going to do the Falkreath quest so that we can become Thane and purchase the property. Although we need 5,000 gold to purchase the property. I, I need to really start cranking out some dungeons. That's probably what we'll do tomorrow. Is start really going hard on dungeon uh, crawling to get the gold. That's where the challenge I think is gonna really start to take a step up is, you know, the gold that we eventually need to purchase things. We gotta get it somehow and we can't get it, get it from selling items. Seven Days to Die wins your Steam play at 6,000 hours. That is crazy. That's a lot. That's impressive. The Atronach Forge lets you turn a broom into a staff? That's wild. I'm learning way too much about this game. Stop teaching me things, chat. I'm supposed to be the expert here. You tried mercenary work? That might suit you. I wish I was an expert, I'm not. I think it makes it a bit more fun though. Soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms. Killing the entire Dark Brotherhood gets you a lot of gold. I mean, look, we're we're level eight. We almost have two thousand. Well, we have thirteen hundred. Come on in. Just so Wait a minute. Take a seat. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. We haven't done Silent Moons. Yeah, we got to do Silent Moons Bandit Camp. That'll get us some money. What's the hurry? I enjoy the sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your room right this way. Need okay. Else? Just let me know. We're gonna go sleep for an hour. Need anything else? Just let me know. Sleep for an hour. Let me know if there's anything else you need. It's kind of weird how transmute gives you so much less XP than muffle. This is a low muffle gives you so much XP. Hey, 
are the rare. Indiana will always only be Field of Dreams for you? Wait, why Indiana? It's Iowa. The movie was in Iowa. Is this heaven? It's Iowa. Could you incorporate the Ethereum Forge into the challenge? All right, are you, I think you all are just throwing made up terms my way so that I can look like a goofball when I don't know what they are. Am I a Firefox guy or a Chrome guy? Well, they're all technically the same, but I'm an Opera GX guy. Oh, crap, I'm dying. I have severe ataxia. Guys, I'm gonna die. We have to go fix this real quick. This man knows nothing of this game. I know, hey, I know uh, how to play the game well. I think I'm pretty good at the game. Yeah, survival changes the price to 100 gold, so you actually get kind of nailed, especially on this run. Have I acquired Wobjack? I have acquired Wobjack before. I have done that. I'm fired. Hawk feathers are inst- are they really? I always thought you had to at least make the potion, but I guess if the first effect is cure disease. Why are they always freaking out about the fire? Fine, I'll put the fire away. Jesus. Now it's just a deadly fist with spikes on it. I've at least used- Okay, I do know what the Lunar Forge is. Thank you, kind Lunar Forge is right here. All right. Ebarn, thank you very much for the prime. Moon spec? I feel like that's got to be a pretty rare build in this game. Full lunar moon set. Do I know about the blind guy's book? I do know about the blind guy's book. Can I give you any ideas for a Skyrim challenge? You have no more ideas. Um... Can I not save? Oh shit. <laughs> I used up all my rent. So what did that get alteration to? 20? Oh, I'm still sitting here on 20. We gotta get to 25. I enjoy this. Sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your room. Still good on food. Six venison chop. Can I cook anymore or am I out of salt? If it's work you're looking for. Yeah, I'm out of salt. We can get more easily. Hold it, you don't have to show me to my room. More than capable of finding it. So, maybe for your challenge run, you can't level up your character at all until you hit at least speech level 50. And then you can't level up your character again after that until you hit speech 100. Spellbook is near Riften for telekinesis. So there's a few things that I want to get. Um, I want to get the paralysis rune. I, I guess it's an anniversary edition item. I want to get the paralysis rune on this run. Because I saw one clip of it on Reddit and it was hilarious. Is fishing allowed for food only? Fishing isn't allowed for gear.
There's a cave with all the anniversary edition spells in a chest. Oh, that's... That's kind of a bummer. Telekinesis is in Redwater Den. Redwater Den is in White Run Hold, isn't it? Bow bashing only. I think that's I think that's a bit out there in terms of grind that I'm willing to do. Hey, my lifestyle might be unhealthy, but I at least eat my goddamn food. I won't try to defeat Yimfa. No. Oh my gosh, those runs are so crazy. Oh, I have no ore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Do I still get the XP for it? Let's see. No. God, I didn't even get to 21. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Should be able to get to 20. I'm running really low on potions, though. What do we have? 10, 10, 2. And 15, 20 range for each one. Let's do Silent Moon's camp. I've been sleeping for three days straight, training my alteration and building up a giant stockpile of gold. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. This should level us up at least one time. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until I have some rubies. That's what we need. We need to find gems. If I keep saving up the gold ingots, we find rubies or flawless gemstones, gleaming baubles, and, uh, what is it? Gleaming baubles and something gemstones. What's the guy in Riften say? We find some of those. Our smithing will to the moon. It'll skyrocket. A spellless college run? Oh, that's just a normal run to begin with. <laughs> it is what you make it. Is the goal to actually beat the main game or is there a made up? Uh, we want to craft a house because I have not engaged with Hearthfire content in ages. But the first thing we have to do is train up our character a bit, level up smithing, because I think it'd be kind of a disappointing run if we didn't at least, cra at least craft ourselves some nice armor. Which, by the way, somebody asked if I was heavy armor or light armor. Uh, heavy armor. I think the heavy armor sets in Skyrim are a lot cooler than the light armor sets. The light armor sets aren't bad. I like Elven. I think Elven looks great. I still think that Glass is the stepchild of the group. Um, I like Dragon Bone. Dragon Plate, which I think is anniversary, looks amazing. I don't think that's light armor, though. All right, come here, pay the death tax. No, 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 not that animation. 
Yes, that animation. I like that one. I gotta get a new weapon here soon. Let's not waste any potions. Ah, I walked right into it. my quest oh my god I, I totally forgot that we grabbed the dragon stone completely forgot light armor no heavy armor or oh, it's smithing there oh that's the light armor book Two smithing books up here. That's crazy. All right, we're getting orcish drops now in chess. So the bounty's inside. Let's go inside and get him. Yeah, I thought the lunar buff just gives you a slight damage buff during the nighttime. Full heavy and get a crossbow. Oh, I've been in this fight before. Yeah, this is a tough fight. I'm ready for it. I'm not scared. Why would I? Why would I be scared of this fight? I mean, I got this. Especially when I use my overpowered death dealing ability. Big time power attack. Okay. <laughs> Not nearly as bad as I thought. Man, Berserker is good. It's really, really overpowered. Maybe it'll balance out as we get later into the game, but early on, it's a crutch. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I, I appreciate the effort, Mr. Locke. You gave it a good run, but it's time to open up. We found a shit ton of gold in here. Not the plate. Of course, I grabbed the one thing I didn't want. Any other challenge run, I usually try to grab that plate so we can glitch through a wall. Almost up to 1500. We'll be close to 2000 once we turn in this objective. All right, we'll head back. We can turn this quest in. We can turn in the dragon stone. We'll be close to 2000 gold. We'll level up hit level nine. What do we do? I have two perks. I should probably go hunt for some more corundum ore soon. Was there a door that I missed there? There's a trap door in the tower by the entrance. Didn't I say I didn't? No, I do. We got the dragon stone. 
Figured we might as well go through uh, Bleak Falls. Stones of Baron Zaya can catch you. <laughs> no, no. Not doing the Stones of Baron Zaya. I think I'd soon rather do the Crimson Nern route in uh, Black Reach. Wait, did I talk to the wizard and say that I didn't have it after I got the dra- I might have had a dialogue with him before I went to Bleak Falls. If you can't use money, uh, merchants, what's it? So, it's useful for curing diseases because on survival mode, you have to pay 100 gold every time you use a shrine. Buying houses and the upgrades therein, which are pretty expensive. So it does take a while to build up some gold. We're up to 1469. Nice. Who are you? Oh. Amrin? I remember killing him. Felt a little bit bad about it at the time. But it was pretty funny. I shouldn't have cut as much as I did. In hindsight, I really wish I didn't cut as much. And the last video was two to three minutes longer. Because there were some great moments during the... Uh, the or the orphan quest so fucked so fucked up to say <laughs> during the quest where we murdered the parents of countless orphans you see the term ah the dragon stone of bleak fall You'll have my reward my, my reward please correct after all and we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us you went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. You know, some people think that the intro to Skyrim is too long. I think that this cutscene is too long. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. What's the challenge and how is it going? Exclamation point, Iron Man. We'll give you all of the answers you seek. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. I'd like to purchase a homestead outside of the city. 7,500 gold. Excellent. You've done us a great service. <gasps> no, it was only 100 gold? Preventus, come on. You're, de you're selling me short. That's crazy. Of course. It's, it's all really in this sad. note. In the shadows. John Bernthal 2. I apologize for the secrecy, but I'd rather not speak about this in front of the Yarrow. In the event the information I received is incredible, he has enough on his plate as it is. You see, earlier last week, I received a tip from an unnamed source regarding a potential assassination plot on the Yarrow. Now, while we take all threats seriously, it's difficult to know just how credible this source is. And with everything that's happened as of late, I don't have enough time to investigate this myself. That's why I'd like you to head to Arcadia's Cauldron and check their ledger for any suspicious purchases, in particular poisons. I've asked Arcadia to leave you a copy on her counter. Look it over, find out who purchased bottles of the last few days, and confirm their reasons are legitimate. In the meantime, I'll have our cooks check every piece of food, bottle of mead, and leftover breadcrumb, just to be sure nothing is tainted. If your investigation turns up nothing, then I'll know the information I received is false and the Jarl is safe for the time being. If not, I hope someone of your reputation can take care of the situation swiftly. An assassination plot? I'm in. Oh yeah, definitely. That's definitely Creation Club. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You uh. Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving. I'm turning into XQC. As a token of my. I wish I had a I a good XQC impression. To you know, on hand, but I don't. Please accept this gift from my personal arm. It's a fucking like. Fucking, you're a ball griff. We got a reward, and we can absolutely disenchant it. But fuck, the only problem is it's for two-handed weapons. 
God damn it! Oh, damn! No! Oh! That was like the worst possible thing we could have gotten. Assassin 4H, thank you very much for watching the channel. And thank you for stopping in. It would mean the world if I could mention you. I'm mentioning you right now. All right, at least we got some enchanting XP. I can't complain with that reward. Reload, don't you get a different reward each time? We could, but I'm gonna just let it roll. Let the cards fall as they may, right? Am I not a fan of two-handed weapons in general? No. Uh, well, no, I am. I like two-handed weapons. I actually like doing a two-handed build. I think the animations are cool. I think it's fun that they hit really hard. I like building a block slash two-handed character. Um, I like that it forces you out of a magic crutch. You know, you, you can't you can't equip magic Boxing and two handed at the same time, but you can somewhat quickly switch between having magic and two handed equipped. It's not impossible. It's just a balance thing. If you were able to have magic equipped at the same time as a two handed weapon. It would be even more broken than it already is, because two handed is really good. It hits insanely hard. seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle but we are honor bound to fight it even if we fail this dragon is threatening our I look significantly more ready for battle than any of these dorks like look at them are you going to let me face this thing alone is it not hitting them now that I'm clearly the main character in this story think of it the first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age Irolet this isn't really doing it for me I'm gonna I'm gonna get moving. If you're with me. The Daedric, oh, the Daedric, uh, I'm not sure about the Daedric Katana, but the Daedric two-handed sword looks really cool. And I'm not a huge fan of, what are you doing out here? Is that Nazim? Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. What's he doing out here? No, his farm doesn't actually exist. Chill for our farm? Isn't that what it's called? Oh, the, oh wait, is the ebony blade two-handed? I haven't... I don't know if I've ever gotten it. I know about it. Because when I did the white run video, a lot of people brought it up. And we tried to get the quest to activate, but we weren't able to. Okay. All right. Tomorrow we kill a dragon. I appreciate everybody hanging out today. Uh, my head is killing me right now. It kind of has been for the majority of the stream, unfortunately. Um, but before my computer explodes, I should probably... Uh, should probably stop recording. Let's uh, let's raid out to somebody. My stream deck crashed. I was going to play a nice little song as we left. But thank you. Seriously, thank you all so much to everybody for hanging out and your support. It means a lot. Uh, I'll try and have these VODs. I'll try and have the first one that we did for the practice run uploaded tomorrow. Although I might skip uploading it because it's kind of samey. To what we did today. Um, 
but I am going to send you over to my friend Don. We've raided over to him a few times. I think he's casting. I think he's casting a Rocket League qualifier for some tournament. Uh, and he's just a really good friend. Great guy. Um, when you get over there, remember to be respectful. Be kind. Don't be, uh, don't be, you know, a dick or anything like that. Be supportive. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful night. And I will see you tomorrow.